Hello, chat. Good morning. Good morning from me to you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Hello, hello. Hello, token, and congratulations on your sixth first. Good morning, Ark. Good morning, Gull. Good morning, Pedro. Good morning. I hope you all are having a wonderful and relaxing Sunday. Ooh, hot. I saw. Being mean to the ultimate cutie. <laughs> So mean, so mean. Sorry, I'm finishing up a breakfast sandwich. Why do I have to call you a bad boy? It's Sunday. He should be laying in bed and getting some rest after having such a hard day. Well, hard week at work. So I'm not gonna call you a bad boy. You're such a good boy. You work so hard and I'm so proud of you. Lay in bed and rest. the duality of man. <laughs> Good, he's gonna stay in bed forever and be trapped here with me. And got called adorable. You are adorable. You are indeed the ultimate cutie. And I've got another list. Complete September 2024. Oh. Wait. Eh. All eyes? Nope. <laughs> but we worked hard, kind of, <laughs> yesterday. Oh, sorry. Readjusting. So what did I do yesterday? So we streamed and then honestly, I walked away from my computer. <laughs> It's not that I didn't do more work, because I did. I just, I try to take Saturday and Sunday if I can. I missed you too. I was literally just thinking when Token was talking about talking to you in the Discord, I was like, man, I feel like I haven't seen Ultimate Cutie recently. Have they forgotten about me and found somebody cuter to hang out with? Um... But yeah, I, uh, I try to take Saturday and Sunday to, like, step away from my computer. Those are usually, like, the days that I'll go and I'll sit in the living room for most of the day. And I'll, like, work on script writing that I have to do. I know, everybody's abandoning me. Um, just because, like... I love my job. I really do. Oh, I'm sorry that you've been feeling down. And try to pretend like I said that in a more genuine way than I did. Because <laughs> it sounded like it came out of my mouth to be very, like, condescending. It sucks when that happens, but you'll bounce back. I believe in you. 
That is a long ass tongue. Goddamn, Sierna. That's Sierna, right? Yeah. Goddamn, Sierna. <laughs> um. But yeah, I uh, I try to take Saturday and some of Sunday because Sunday is not as easy. Because we're supposed to record the podcast on Saturday. Of course, we didn't. And so we have to do it today. Um, so I'm going to be at my computer all day today, unfortunately. What'd that tongue do? Uh. Anyway, I, I swear I'm going to get through this story. I swear, I swear, I swear. Fight the ADHD bees in my brain. Get in line, focus, carry the story once word at a time out of my brain and out of my mouth. Um, yeah, so I sat in my chair and I worked on Sierra's script. And I have to say, I am sad about, like, I. In a way, I almost kind of want to remove the, like, exclusivity clause and just be like, no, I have the right to record any any audio script that I write. Because it's so cute, chat. I love it. It's so fun. And I want to do it myself now, and I can't. I'm, I'm probably going to ask her and be like, hey... I know that I have the exclusivity clause and I'm happy to take it off of your next order charge. Would you still commission me if I removed that and like recorded fills for my own script, but kept them like only for my Patreon and see if she's like, no, I really would want them to be exclusive. And then I'd be like, okay, I'll do that. I'll probably, I'm going to do that now before I forget actually, because I will forget. Uh, where is she in my DMs? That is not you. I don't know if I've ever messaged her privately. Maybe I have. Easy. I have not. Easy. Not meaning to bother. And sorry if this is inappropriate. Uh, to ask him yeah. What is happening behind me? What are you doing? Can you quit being crazy? <laughs> the answer is no. Yeah, I'm talking to you, weirdo. What? We should do a poll about if the ultimate cutie is cute. All right. A uh, new poll. Is the ultimate cutie Wait, hold on. I'm going to get your name specifically. 56 the ultimate cutie. Cute. Adorable. Yes, they're adorable. Yes, they're cute. Yes, they're adorable. Yes, they're cute and adorable. Hold on. Yes, they're cute plus adorable. No, they are not. All right, you have three minutes and you can additionally vote at 100 seeds per vote. Go. Spend all of your seeds. While I write out this DM. Oh my god, Amber, you're such an idiot. Yeah, how's that feel? Oh, 
Oh my god. Don't you I don't need you. Why are you doing this? I'm getting you. I'm getting you. Please don't bite me. Ow. Okay. Why are you dumb? How many times do you have to get your claws caught before you quit doing that? That is so stupid. So she got up onto her cat tree. And like she like grips onto either side of the door jams and she will get her claws caught in the door jams. And she has done this probably three times in the last two, like the last week. And this time she climbed up onto the top of her cat tree and got stuck in the top door jam, which if she had like tried to jump down, she'd have ripped her claws out. <laughs> And she just sits there and she screams and and then she's doing it again. So I had to go over and like try to get her. And of course she goes to bite me. Because I'm touching her and she's upset. <laughs> yeah, I know. Questions. One, are you, would you continue to, hold on, yep, the poll is wrong. <sighs> I'm closing my door. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, I let her in here. I'm not doing it anymore. Okay, would you continue to commission me for trips in the future if I removed the exclusivity charge and changed my TR to say I... voted i didn't see let me look your results um i can't see who voted unfortunately it is anonymous uh, but i'll not share them to the public for no additional knowledge. If not, that is totally okay. And I will keep everything from this time. Okay. Okay. Who's the Star Wars guy? <laughs> Oh, 
Would you continue to commission me uh, if you answer yes to the above question? Uh, could I refund the extra charge for a future commission? And fill it. If not, that's cool too. Thanks. Thanks for chatting with me. I'm still navigating being a hired. Thank you. Okay. So I said. Hey Sierna, not meaning to bother, and sorry if this is inappropriate to ask in DMs and not in front of everyone in the because we're in a like a group chat um with like her, two of her managers, and I don't actually know who the other people are, but like we're in like a group of like six people. I feel like this is a bot, but sure. Uh-huh. Remember since May 2024? Sure, sure, sure. Anime girl uh, thing. Kind of seems like a bop. Anyway, um, so I really love the script I wrote and I really want to fill it for myself because I love the scripts I write. I know I have an exclusivity charge and you agreed to it, so I had two questions. One, would you continue to commission me for scripts in the future if I removed the exclusivity charge and changed my TOS to say I could build scripts I write for my own content? but will not share them to the public for no additional charge. If not, that is totally okay, and I will keep everything exactly the way it is now and just deal with my desire to fill the scripts and move on. If you answered yes to the above question, could I refund the extra charge for a future commission and fill it? If not, that's cool too. Thanks for chatting with me. What can I do for you? Yeah, I already know that this is a bot. You wanna know why? Because they say, how are you, question mark. Like, that's a bot. But that's the thing about being a commissioned person that has like their Discord as an option for communication. Like, I have to answer these DMs on the chance that it is a client. Is it usually ever? No. But I have to, just to be sure. But yeah, cause like I wrote I say, how are you? Yeah, but when you, you don't randomly message people, do you? Because I don't know this person. And usually like, okay, so say you were gonna, hey Adora, say you were gonna commission someone for something. Do you open up a DM and just say, how are you? Hey, how are you? And then that's it. That you, the, the message ends there. There's no, explain it yeah exactly then that you don't do that <laughs> that's what bots do they never just come then why are you dming me hey Yancey. yeah because this is the this is how bots do it is they start off with like a hey how are you and they try to talk to you <laughs> exactly Bots don't have that problem. Hey, Cam. Have a good rest. Thanks for hanging out. Where's my chapstick? Do I, like... Yeah, I mind it. Right. Yeah, I gotta I gotta answer it every time because it could be a client, a prospective client, but <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, so 
that's sorry. I was talking about what I did and I got distracted because I, I wrote the script for Sierra and it was really fun. It was, um, endurance training with your, uh, like personal trainer. And she asked for a, um, Hmm. How do I say this in a PC way? Um, Um, <laughs> say what? Well, I can't say it if it's not, not PC, sorry, PG. PC is not the word I was looking for. Uh, how do I say this in a PG way? Um, gripping and handling technique for one's equipment. <laughs> Instruction on how to, uh, grip and, uh, uh, maintain one's equipment. <laughs> and it was really fun. I had a great time with it. And I was like, man, this is a cute script. I want to fill this and put it on my Patreon. And, but I have an exclusivity selection for my VGen where I'm like, you know, you can pay me extra to not uh, fill the script myself. And most people select that, which is sad, but I get it. Um, and I'm like, but, but I wanna, I wanna, I wanna fill the scripts that I make. Cause I usually end up like really liking them. <laughs> and so I'm like, hey, I had a me I just messaged her and I was like, hey, would it be okay if like I refunded you the extra money that you, you know, uh, paid for the exclusivity and can can I fill it? I want to fill this script so bad. And if she says no, then that's okay. Because obviously. <laughs> well, that's the thing is there was no schmeat packing. That's the whole point. It was, um, you know, solo. Uh, or like, uh, instructed solo play lots and lots of pet names and praising and good boys in there it was a lot of fun i liked it um so i want to fill it real bad <laughs> I'm like please can i fill it please it's so good um but yeah i'll, I'll let it go if she doesn't um so I worked on that and then I cooked dinner and by the time I cooked dinner, I'll be honest, I totally forgot to take a picture. We had a uh, Szechuan pork noodles and they were actually really good. We've tried them before and I think I did them a lot better this time because like usually I'm not a big noodle person, especially like ramen noodles, like more authentic ramen noodles. Or spaghetti. I just I don't like the texture. So, but I really liked it this time around. So, but so that's why I didn't get <laughs> it didn't get posted in the Discord because we just ate it. Um, and then I got a message from someone. So I am going to be adding some tears to Patreon and Fansly probably this afternoon when we're watching Aliens, um, because someone messaged me on Fansly and asked if I did custom ASMR, like, requests for commission. And I do, but, um, I, I had done them in the, the tiers that, like, the court tiers, and having looked at Allie's Patreon. I was like, hmm, maybe I could do some like, they're still very expensive, but like for, you know, a person, but like cheaper ones for like 10 minutes for X or whatever. And it's like a, you know, a script that I write or you can provide me one recorded, edited for, you know, your own use that never gets seen um, by anybody else. It's like a, it's like a, 
you know, custom exclusive was with exclusive script. And I was like, yeah, I do that. And I'll be honest, I thought the dude was trolling or the person. I don't know if they're a dude. The person was trolling. I'm assuming it was the dude because they asked for the, the listener to be male. Um, but I was like, hmm. So I talked to Pedro about it because Pedro is one of the ones that um, contributes to one of the court tiers. And I was like, hey, question, would would it be like... Would you feel gypped if I offered shorter, cheaper, um, like either like commissions or tiers for Patreon slash Fansly? And we talked about it and like what we what we could do and what we could price it at. Um, because I immediate I originally quoted the the guy 150 because that's what the exclusive tiers are for. Um and or that's what the exclusive tiers are priced at. And that's one of the benefits. And he said that he couldn't do that, which is fair. It's a lot of money. So I was like, hmm, did I just chase away a commission? So let me ask him. So I was like, hey, I'll be honest, dude. I thought you were like a troll or like a scammer. Um, so if you're like genuine, which you seem because he was nice. He was like, yeah, I can't afford that. But if I can, I'll come back. And I was like, hmm, OK. So he's probably real because the last person that like tried to do stuff like that, um, like, well, haggling is weird, right? Because you don't want to undersell. And if you can't really charge under what you've charged other people for, I don't, at least I wouldn't do that. Like I would set a price and then that's it. But I, I've only had the 150 because that's just the arbitrary number I came up with. Um, when I first started doing this and I was talking to Pedro, I was like, do you think maybe I should like lower the court tiers maybe? Um, you know, and we were talking about a whole bunch of different options, but anyway, I messaged the person back and I was like, Hey, I'll be honest. I thought you were a scammer. It seems like you're kind of, you're genuine. So if you're serious about this commission, what, what is your budget? And I was looking to see if it was like 20 bucks and I'd be like, <laughs> no, um, but he said 65 and I was like, hmm, all right. I was already thinking 75 for like custom scripts for like commission that are like written because that's about what it would be if I had if I charged another artist. Right. So like Sierra, as an example, um, she has ordered a like a 10 ish minute script plus audio editing. And the price is about 60 bucks. It's 20 for the script, another 20 for NSFW. And then I think, no. Yes. Why did I charge her? Hold on. Cause that seems, oh yeah, yeah. Cause then I, then I have the 25% discount. So I was like, no, I charge her like 60. Um, and then I remembered I have a 25% discount if people do both script and edit through me. Um, so it's like $60 for the script and $20 for the edit for the audio, which is like 80 and then 25% off because I offer a bundle, a discount if you get two services from me. So like if somebody else commissioned that from me to put on their Patreon, it'd be about $60. So plus me having to record it myself, I was like, yeah, 75 seems reasonable to me. That's what I priced my other stuff at. Hey, Adam. Um, so I was like, I can do 75 and he's like, all right, I'll do 75. So I made a tier on fans and he paid for it. And I was like, oh, wow. I, I still, a part of me was still like, I'm getting, I'm getting played here, <laughs> but no, they were serious. And then they sent me over the script idea and it is, um, very, I'm not, I, I, hmm. I don't want to say it because I, I, think that you can see who my subs are so like I don't want to out them because it is exclusive but it it was very I, I've definitely seen a uh, a uh, sexy video that is maybe animated and drawn wink sorry wink I have to look at the camera or maybe I just can't wink anymore there we go um that is similar so I was like, you know, because whenever you're taking custom 
NSFW audio commissions, you always have that little fear in the back of your mind that it's going to be fucking weird and creepy. This one was not. It was like, oh, yeah, I've seen I've seen I've seen way worse. <laughs> I've seen worse hentai than this, so this is totally fine. And I think it's actually kind of a cute concept. I like it's not cute, but it's it's fine, essentially. Like I it didn't make me uncomfortable or anything. I was like, oh yeah, this is honestly, this is about what I expect in terms of like if someone is gonna Oh, there were no toothpaste noises, surprisingly. No real like sex going on. Intercourse anyway. There's like some sexy bits, but I know that's what I said. I was like, wow. All right. Which makes my job even easier, to be honest, because then I don't have to do the audio stuff for it. But. But no, I was like, I was like, oh, this is good. This is. I'm I'm happy with this. So, yeah, I'm I'm excited. And I was thinking to myself this morning, I was like, do I put this on my Trello? Because like technically it's. It is a commission, but it's a tier, but it is something that I'm working on and it is something that I was paid for. So it is technically a commission in a way. So I put it on my Trello just to like indicate what I'm working on. And also it just kind of helps me to like know what my what my deadlines are and stuff and keep everything in line. And what I'll probably do is I'll also go back through my Trello and like mark what date I received the commissions as well. Like the start date, probably. I'll end up doing that, probably. Just to like indicate how, what my turnaround times are. Yeah, I that's what I did yesterday and I don't, and also I had somebody else message me on on um on Vansley and they were like <laughs> it was funny. Uh they were like, "Hey, I made a meme of you. Do you want to see it?" And I was like, "Can I get in trouble if I tell them if they send me?" I'm like I I was my I told Gall and I was like, "Here's what my response is going to be." Fine, but if you send me a dick pic, I'm posting it on Twitter. <laughs> And Gull was like, you might get in trouble for that. And I'm like, really? But I'm telling them I'm doing it. So it's not like it's, it's they are technically consenting. And so she started looking up consent laws while, while I, uh, cause that's what we do. Um, and it was not a dick pic. It was actually a meme. Um, and he ended up like telling me jokes and talking about video games. And that's what I did. Would it be mean to laugh at the meme? No. I think that if you send an unsolicited dick pic to someone, you are allowed to laugh at it. <laughs> Yeah, and so today on the docket, I've talked to you guys for like 40 minutes or 30 minutes or so, which is normal. Um, we're going to be playing Vampire today. Uh, and then we have... <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, we have Aliens for Discord Movie Night tonight. Any thoughts on the GameCube issue? It's not really an issue, and it hasn't been anything that's been brought up about it again. I am considering it. Oh, no, I didn't. I was thinking about it. Um, so, Roberta, if you guys don't know who Roberta is, they are a rigger and also an artist, but I mainly know them for the rigging that I follow on Twitter. Um, you might, if you're a VTube follower in the Twitter space, you probably know them best from the like dragon girl. Um, I don't remember what her name is. Hold on. I need to go to Roberta's 
stuff because I need to scroll through my Twitter without getting myself in trouble. Roberta. How do you, oh my God. Rubretta? Is it Rubretta? Have I been saying it wrong this whole time? Rube. Roberta. Okay, sorry. Roberta. Um, or for the LED that they've done recently. Um, so I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to hopefully not get myself in trouble by showing Twitter on stream. Um, hello? Okay. Let's see. It's, it's Twitter. Oh, it's down here. Okay. So yeah, this is Roberta, and they had their commissions open, or like their, um, so yeah, that, that's the model I originally found them through, was that one right there. Um, their, like, tongue comes out, and it's all crazy, I think. That's that one, right? But that's also the LED one that they've been doing recently. Hold on, let me find some better um, uh, examples of their work. Let me go to their um, their media, actually. Let's see. I might be thinking of a different person. But yeah, so they did this. Oh god. Don't get me in trouble, Twitch. I'm sorry. They did like the LED stuff, which is really cool. And... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They also did a, oh God, music, ah! Um, this is their showcase for the jellyfish girl that they did. Again, please Twitch, don't ban me. Stop it, get out of here. So yeah, they did, they did the rigging for this jellyfish lady. And they recently opened their commissions. Um, which when you have like a bigger rigger like this, they usually will open applications. Um, and the likelihood of me uh, getting a slot with them is insanely low. Um, so usually whenever a big rigger like that opens up their commissions, I'm like, sure, I'll try because I'm never going to get it anyway. Um, but I have been talking about uh, getting a 2.0 before and I've never like actually um like straight up designed it oh yeah yeah, yeah. so we so yeah, yeah yeah this is the model i was talking about this is the one that i know the most also the quality for this is fucking awful but that's not their fault that's true's fault This is who I know them from the most because I know this VTuber or I know, I should say I know of them. I don't actually think I even know their names to be fair. I'm kind of dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course they do. So anyways, the point was that they uh, opened up their commissions and I was like, fuck it. I'll throw my name in the ring. And I have been talking about getting a 2.0. Um... And so, and I've had the ideas floating around for a really long time, but I've never put them, like, all of the ideas together. 
and uh, Gull drew my 2.0, like, goddess version. And we love it, because of course we do. And if I ever am lucky enough to work with someone like uh, Roberta, um... That we, we finally have the thing down. And also, uh, you know, if Pedro's bank account allows it. Because I was like, oh, she's expensive or they're expensive. But if we, I, I messaged, I, didn't I message you, Pedro? And I was like, hey, Nanalis is opening up their commissions. I'm going to send in my, my, you know, model. If I get it, what do we do? And he's like, I got it. I was like, okay. <laughs> And to be fair, this isn't this isn't anywhere near the price tag um, for for this because Nanolis was like what was it four thousand eight thousand for the art, and I think Roberta's rigs are in the fifteen hundred mark, so still a lot of money. Oh yeah, it's for full body art and rig. It's twenty one hundred. Um, which you know is fucking expensive, but it's not. You know, eight thousand dollars. And again, there's no chance. I'm not nearly like big enough. for them to to work with me because they they want to see your social medias and stuff like that and i'm pretty sure they only they only work with like bigger vtubers which you know totally understandable they i think you were plenty of being ha 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 i want to actually see the size of the vtubers that they work with so let me look at slentabelle oh she's I'm not, I don't, I, okay. I was expecting tens of thousands of followers. She has 4K followers on Twitter, which to be fair, Twitter doesn't fucking mean anything. Because, you know, let's, let me look at her card. What does she do? Because you can have like no following on Twitter, but usually you do have a decent following on Twitter. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So let me look at her other, her other like stuff. Okay, she has 8K followers on, on Twitch. It's all bots now. Fair. Usually gets, I mean about, those are about the same size of views that I get on my VODs. She might be a, Smaller VTuber. I can't tell, obviously. I can't. She's not live, so. She has 500 subs on her twi on her YouTube. 10k followers on um, TikTok. Not as big as I thought. I thought, like, Wait, where'd my music go? I honestly thought that they were going to be, like, larger VTubers. Like, again, and I, I do not say that in a derogatory way. I hate saying things like that, where it's like, oh, I thought that they would be bigger. Uh, it's like, when I look at rigs like this and whenever a rigger is like, give me your social media, I expect that they only work with, like, large content creators, right? So I was expecting, like, you know, I guess. I hate saying it like that because it feels like it's derogatory and I do not mean it in a derogatory way. I'm a small content creator. I'm a, a minuscule, like they're still bigger than me, you know, and I don't mean that in a negative way. I guess I just, Anyway, it doesn't matter. My point is, is that I was like, oh, I expected them to be working with like people that were way out of my, out of my league. 
Are they larger and small? <laughs> Maybe. Pushing medium. I don't. I don't look at my numbers, so. Let's see. This is VTuber. Oh, she has 1,700 followers on Twitter. Uh oh. <laughs> I might have actually put myself into a position where there is a chance. <laughs> yes, Pedro. I wanted to spend money on Throne. Okay. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> What's going on? But I can't buy multiple of the same thing in one order. Why not? Um, yeah, I can. That's surprising that you can't do multiple. I see what you're talking about, though. Um, sure, I can. All right, um, sure, sure, sure. Let me add a gift. Uh, add cash gift. 60. Uh, buy three time shorts. Because it runs weird. Hey, Crunch. No, I, I totally understand. I didn't know that that was a thing. I thought that you could, like, just add it to your cart like three times like say hey i wanted to buy three i didn't realize that you couldn't do that because what is the point of having them like that <laughs> there you go i have done it i'm very sorry that throne is fucking weird uh and then i'll put it down here with Wait, hold on. Fund. Oh, man. I just want it to be worded the same. Weird. An anonymous user contributed $100 to 2.0 model and rig via throne. Oh, thank you so much, Anonymous, whoever you are, the Anonymous American, for contributing $100 towards the 2.0 model and rig. What the fuck? Thank you. Thank you so much. I wish I could thank you, and I don't know who you are. Thank you, thank you. That's so sweet. It's no rush towards the 2.0, but I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Start an investigation. I mean, I, I've got nothing to go on other than the fact that they're American, which the only one that I, the only person that I know for sure, 100% that's American is Token, but why would Token make it anonymous? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys wanted me to turn the leaderboards back on. 
Uh, why indeed? <laughs> um, let's see. Leaderboard. Boop. There we go. I have turned the leaderboard on. Oh my god, Pedro. You need to calm down. I want to turn the leaderboard back off. It makes me guilty. <laughs> Well, then thank you, Token, for contributing towards the 2.0. Appreciate it. Oh, my God. I can't. I those numbers don't seem real. They can't be real, right? Pedro, you need to find something better to spend your money on. <laughs> Thank you so much for being so fucking generous, both you and Token and everybody and Dials and and everyone. You guys are so fucking sweet to me. I hope only that I can repay by giving you content and and things that you enjoy and make it worth it. Thank you so much. It's more than I expected. Oh no. He's like, well, time to cut her off. <laughs> hey, Dials. Which is totally understandable. <laughs> Also, Petra, you don't have to do the ex expedited withdrawals. I genuinely don't think it does anything because I'm still waiting for. I don't remember what I'm waiting for, but I feel like I'm still waiting for things, so. Don't feel obligated to pay extra for that because I, I genuinely don't think it does anything. What's the points leader for? Channel points? Oh, in the... Oh, I was talking about throne. We, we turned on the throne... Hold on one sec, I'm waiting for a text message. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna be frozen for a second. But yes, yeah, so I think the points in the in the below in the about section is a uh, um channel points, yeah. Because, yeah, the, the 25 that I think... Yeah, the 25, I th think, from Ataraxia from the 25th of August still hasn't gotten to me. It's sitting in stripes. So that's been a week ago and that was expedited because I had a prefer expedited withdrawals automatically turn on. And then I was like, I think these are fucking pointless. So I turned them off. So like, don't don't feel like compelled to do that because I don't 
that was paid out on the 25th. And then it didn't get transferred until four days later. And it's the first, which to be fair, it's the weekend or whatever, but I still don't have it. So yeah, don't, don't pay for expedited withdrawal. It doesn't actually do anything. I don't think. <laughs> you give it a Snorlax. Happy wife, happy life. I should actually, while I'm thinking about it, I should get the 2.0 sketch that Gull gave me. And I should take like the eyes or something and put them as the 2.0 model. My most recent acquisition is a five foot beanbag chair. Hey. Yeah, 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 I know. I was keeping up with the conversation. I'm just like, that's a big beanbag chair. It's a big old bag of beans. It's not what I meant to close. All right, I'm gonna do this last thing and then we will get started. Thank you, Pedro, by the way. Oh, I don't, sorry, he didn't do it, so. I don't know what I'm thinking you for. He didn't do anything. Other than, you know, just being amazing and you, so. I know that's what I for my, my brain was like we talked about it so I was like oh he's done it and I haven't thanked him yet I need to put that in. ignore me ignore me ignore me right now <laughs> uh, let's upload an image and we'll see if I can just upload it or if I need ignore me ignore me right now Okay, I needed to cut it down anyway because it's too big. He's too big. Save as Honest Sneak. Is this being this way? And that point is so small. Why is it so small? My VTube studio was just haunted. The forever callback. Okay, so no matter what I do, it's gonna do that. I'm not trying to edit the price. I'm just trying to edit the... 
I'm just trying to edit the uh, the. Oh my god. Oh, so I can't edit the image anyway. Okay, well, never mind. Guess it's stuck on that forever. Because I can't edit the image even though... Because it's been paid for. Or, like, it has stuff contributed to it. Alright, well, go fuck myself, I guess. Let's play Vampire. Vampire. Blah. It's so true. It's so true. Alright. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's okay, Dials. I'll be fine. The game's not, so far, not that complicated. Yet. Why did you schedule your store time for right now, hmm? Okay. All right, let's see. Yeah, I start playing games and everybody leaves. I understand. Who is chomping? That was so gross. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm getting... Oh, okay. That's not what I meant to do. No, nope, that's not what I meant to do either. Okay, that's what I was doing before I got distracted. Steal the reports. Ever slept on accident? <sighs> How could you be like this? Right. I still don't know. where this is. You're so blind, dude. Oh, come on. Excuse you. so good too oh shit wow. 
Step away, sir. Hey! I'm twerning, boys! <laughs> All right. Ow. Oh my god, he just will not stop. me it's rude That sucks. Ow! I was dodging. Well, creep. Of these assholes, finally. Yeah, it's, they've got to be here, right? Like in probably this building up here. Yeah, because it's open. My shillings now. All your loot belongs to me. <laughs> Especially watching my gameplay, which is just. Fucking garbage trash. So many bullets. Holy jeez. Oh, okay. okay. Oh. Large box of pills. Ooh, and it's purple. Is this better? Ooh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Where's the comma machete? Oh, that's my main weapon. Okay. Hey, beaches. Yeah, I want to use the the used. I'm assuming. Fifteen stun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want bigger stun. Big stun. Hey, hidden. And also, do I have like a? Okay. Oh, okay. So it's one more damage for five more stamina. That doesn't seem good. What do I have equipped? Common machete. Okay. 
Yeah, I like the higher attack speed. I'm I am looking for tickets for Morocco. Why? Report about Pembroke. Second November. Scout Louis 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 Cagney. Mr. Joffrey McCallum. Vacation is calling. We'll have a good time. Pembroke Hospital survey vampire activity. Sir, having observed the Pembroke Hospital for two weeks now, and we can confirm vampire activity here. First, we have proof of the presence of a female leech inside the hospital. The beast is clever. She acts like a mental patient to hide her true unholy condition. I personally sneaked inside the hospital and heard the creature whining about her head about her need for blood since her body is decaying. But it gets worse. The administrator of the Pembroke Hospital is Dr. Swansea. According to our team leader, Amanda Tilton, who died yesterday in a fight against the skull by the canal, he may be a member of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. If that's true, then there may be something big going on in Pembroke, maybe even a nest of vampires, protected by those bloody traitors of the stole. We don't know what to do, but we are convinced you better come quickly with reinforcements and heavy gear. Oh, what's wrong with the food? Ooh. The Great Hunt, hail to our fallen comrades, hail to their bravery, for we prevailed, the guard prevailed, my brothers, we hunted them down, the enemies of mankind, hidden in the dark tunnels of our modern cities, we found them in their nests and dens, and they perished, we brought the fires of battle to the blackest pits, never had such a large scale war been engaged by mortals against immortals, remember this victory, my brothers, for it seals and proves our methods, never sleep, never surrender, never give up. Yes, my brothers, our method is good, and our and England is safer tonight thanks to you. Thanks to those of us bitten and killed by the enemy, or our trembling hand when they turned against us. Do not tremble, my brothers. Do not doubt. I cry tonight for the fallen comrades, I cry. For I'm an old man who saw who finally saw my goal accomplished as I live my last years on this earth. The Guard of Prowin is only half a century old, and we have already accomplished much more than the traitors of St. Paul in half a millennium. This was our first great hunt. Let them leeches who survived our wrath remember we won't stop. From the Adversary by Kemble Stone, founder of the Guard of Prowin. All right. It's got that done. That's not what I meant to do. That's also not what I meant to do. Um, yeah, I want to track this. Okay. Go with this away. Find someone who can read Braille. And I gotta go this way. Alright. Ooh, you're level 18. Let's not fuck with that guy. Let's see if we can go around. Hey, Peaches! I thought I heard something. No. You are. Um, not this building. Can't go through it. Gotta go around it. Taking the long way so I don't have to deal with that level 18 thing.
long way around. Black Wolf Fairbog. <laughs> Wait, I just saw a guy. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh god. Will you quit it? Oh, I didn't mean to grab the rat, but I was trying to loot. But that's fine, too. Ow! Oh, I thought that would down you. So anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, I'm trying to loot that trash can. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. going nothing in here. Can you quit screaming? Where am I going? That didn't lead anywhere. And it didn't lead out either, I don't think. Unless I'm just very, very blind. Which is possible. I am no tour. Okay, there was a way out. No, this is the room. This house is no way out of it. <sighs> okay. And this also has no way out of it. Okay, so going there is pointless. Going here was pointless. It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Hello, sir. I'm gonna eat you. Actually, I should check. All right, yeah, I can probably take you. Boss! 
Yes, I am. Oh, I missed him somehow. I'm a master vampire. Yeah, definitely want to upgrade my weapon when I get back to my bench. So I have like, because having a stronger stun, very good right now. Oh, graveyard. Oh. Widow in distress. Okay. Yeah, I can deal with that. Somebody help! Ow. I, what? I died? What? Did I not see my help? I thought it was fine. I guess he beat the shit out of me. Well. I thought I was good. I was not good. Alright, come here, you fucks. If I could, hello? Okay, I'm hitting the wrong buttons right now. Oh my god, I, I, oh my god, it's like I completely forgot every single button that existed. I was trying to hit my heel and I just kept hitting all of my circle buttons even though I know that it's left trigger. Or like left bumper or whatever. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I now I understand why my chat doesn't want to watch gameplay. Imagine. Oh, shit. Okay. Can I please? Oh, no, no, no. This is why I hate targeting. Trying to save your life, lady. What do you want? Um, nom 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 food. All right. Are you all right, miss? I, I don't know. Who were those people? They killer. They I will. To kill me. Why? They've lost their minds. I'm killing they? everyone. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Shao Shun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. You're also already in the cemetery, idiot. I must loot. <laughs> oh, um, it changed my option. Oh, No. Um, what was I looking for? Oh, yeah, yeah. Find someone that can read Braille. Hello. I hope I can kill you. Okay, I'm fine.
Loot, 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 loot. All right. Oh. Yeah, I want to make sure that I upgrade my... Oh, I didn't see you guys. Now that real idiot. Canceled my. It sucks the most when they cancel your claw attack, like, or like an attack that you're doing. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. I wanted to switch my. Oh. Come on, man. Get off me. Okay. Oh my fucking god, I thought he was gonna jump on me and I was gonna die. I fucking... Come on, dude. I dodged. I can't believe this. Oh my god, this guy sucks. Oh, I might die. I actually died. I can't. Oh my god. This guy sucks so much. I'm just trying to live my life, dude. Why does it send me back here? Why? All right, I'm going to be right back real quick. I'm back. Oh, all right. I'm just trying to find somebody that can read Braille. Oh. 
Wanna wanna buy the other one about the Yeah, two for one. Excuse me? Video game? Oh, where do you guys come from? I fucking missed. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my God, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. I'm panicking, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. <laughs> you guys suck. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. I need to fucking run. Oh, I hit the wrong button again. Look at me. Okay. I am so fucking dead, dude. Why are they everywhere? Because it's an epidemic, Celine. Yeah, I get it, alright? What alright? Come on, man. Like, why, why is my character facing the opposite way of the enemies? Explain. Also, why is it that there are 500 enemies all around in every direction? I'm literally just trying to get to a guy that can read Braille. Give me a break. <sighs> also, I wish it would save a little bit more often so I didn't have to, like, run this goddamn gauntlet every time. Okay. So there's one over here. So I'm going to grab this one over here. Because I think he's alone. No, there's some on the left. Please. I can't- I thought I was doing so well. Fuck. Be safe, Dials. Yeah, I know. I'm shaking my head every time as well, Reed. Alright. Use. Oh, it does not last that long. Okay. I've learned my lesson. That's not the button that I pressed. Oh my god, dude. What? Where did you come Are you fucking serious? Oh, they're gonna run from that. Fuck, that was a waste. No, I'm doing fine. I can be in the graveyard. I am a good at the video games. Ah. No, no, if you... Oh. Come on! I 
can do it. I can. I just, I need to not get fucked over. It is absolutely a skill issue. I can do it. No, I can, I can, I can do it. I just need it to be, leave me alone. All right. I have this, I can do it. I need to also not get fucked over just a little. Like, that would help. Where did you come from? I told you, I can do it. I just need to not be bad. <laughs> yeah, no, they're definitely... I'm level 8 and they're level 14. So they're like, they're, you know, decent level higher than me. But not, like, unkillable. I can do it. I can. I just need to not be bad. Okay. I need to not go that way, though. Ooh, and there... Okay. Eh. Maybe I do need to come this way. I don't know if I can sneak up on them from this direction, though. Oh, it looks like I can. Ooh, two for one, two for one, two for one! Are you serious? Oh my god. Ow! Oh, I thought I saw Glowy over here. Okay, where am I trying to go? This way. Ugh. Oh god, I didn't see my health. Thank god I looked at my health there, because I could have died. Also, that, like, sneaking up and stunning... What? There was a rat! Hello? I didn't get any blood, the rat died, and also I got stuck. Good game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm right back where I started. Also, you have a secret. How do I... Did I clear this whole thing for no reason? All right, come here, you. I'm hungry. I 
think I cleared this for no reason. Yeah, I'm totally stealing from graves. And I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My God, I'm getting farther, not closer. Rats? Rats! Blood! Where's the other one? There you go. I need your blood. It doesn't look like there's anybody here. Which we love that for me. Okay, okay. This looks like where I need to go. Oh. I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, well, we need blood, so deal. Oh, hello. Okay, you're level 16, you're a little spooky. I need to go over there. Ooh, it's a hideout, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I wanna upgrade my or do I have this already? Okay, I need another machete. Okay, and I want to upgrade my used Pruin stake. Tiny good handlebar, okay. Not sleeping, we can't. Okay. So that's what I was really looking for. Alright, so I need to somehow get over there. Ow. Hello. Honestly, I think I can do it now that I've upgraded my stun. Oh, I didn't... Okay. Tanky, but that's about all you got. Okay. Where's my Braille man? He said it says he's right here, or it did. But he, there's nobody here. 
Or is there? Wait, yeah, no, this is my hideout, and there's nobody here. I'm so confused. It says that there are 18, so it seems like they're supposed to be in this building here. So is there like a door that I can open on one of the sides? Oh, I did not see that you guys were here. Oh god, oh god, oh god. so many of you where did you come from no 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 let me leave oh this sucks oh this sucks where explain your reasoning where oh. i don't understand I don't understand where they came from. They weren't there until they were there. And also, I don't know where this person is. It says that they're over there. Ow. Step away, sir. Okay. Are you stupid? Yeah. No, but like really, where? Oh, you're probably the guy that I need. All right. Ow! Oh, cool, thanks for dodging. Literally, what you kill one of them and then three of them come from the top rope. <sighs> All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can just walk around. Because I don't need to kill them anyway. I'm leaving, don't worry. Because I think I found the dude that I'm looking for. Finally. He's like... Yeah, up there. So if I can just, like, walk around them without... Alert... Hi? Okay, guess not. I don't... We don't have to have any problems. Just go back to doing what you were doing.
Okay. Alright. Alright. He resisted it again! Okay. What? Where? I mean, I understand that he teleports, but give me a break. See, they're, they don't have any problem with me. Hello? Excuse you? What is happening? going on <laughs> I just I started stabbing and I didn't stop because I was like I don't know what is going on I don't know who is attacking me I don't know anything my stamina oh my good lord leave me alone Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. Oh. All right. Cool. I shan't insist. Goodbye for now, sir. All of that, just to learn I can't do anything anyway. Cool. We love it. All right, I'm going home. <laughs> going home empty handed. Hey, Rob. All right, I guess I'm going home. I don't care and I'm leaving. Oh, hello. See you in fancy clothes. This one's a top. Uh, I'm leaving. You guys can deal with each other, honestly. I. Excuse me. I'm not going anywhere near you, dude. I'm leaving. I'm going to the hospital. Okay. I don't... Okay. Sorry, wrong house. Um... I 
guess I wasn't supposed to go this way. How many? Just one. I'm gonna save them all so I can eat them all at once like a buffet. I killed one just to see what would happen. Hello, I've returned. Um, shut up. Where is our patience? Itchy ear. I think they're on this side. It's been a while since I've. Oh, there she is. Good evening. Good evening. I have made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Howcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, Doctor. Why are they hunting me down? It was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature. But they mistakenly oh, put their sights on you. I knew it. I have become undone. Those hunters have discovered me. But they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept some advice from a petty mortal, I think you should assume a low profile and just quietly disappear into the shadows. You are right. And you have served me well, mortal. Take this as a reward for your time. Perhaps I will allow you to drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that proposition in mind. <laughs> Don't worry, you will. I'll leave you. Okay. Got that done. All right, got everybody's done. The only thing I need to do is I need to. Oh, wait, who are you? You also have a headache. And who the hell is Oswald Thatcher? Is it somebody that I rescued? Because I don't think they're here right now, so I need cure for a headache. Still, I got two people with headaches. Um... Let's see. Reach Whitechapel. Hello. Oh, you're the level 18 guy. Oh, shit. You're the guy that I've been avoiding this entire time. Recruitment of new boys in Whitechapel. I found, I think I found one, Albie. He's as stupid as a stool, but tough. I asked him to prove to me he could get some drugs for the black market and deliver quickly and nicely. Next time we meet, I'll tell him he's accepted as a wet boot boy and he must now meet the bosses to get his orders. Ooh. I'll grab them. Oh, hello. Oh, 
Oh god, I don't... I keep thinking I have blood when I don't. I can knock it off. Creeps? I'm getting squid it. Of course. You're very welcome, Queen. Catching up on. Ooh. Those dumplings look really good. Always happy to introduce my community to a fellow VTuber who's playing the games that I happen to be playing at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna probably go through here, which I've already looted everything. Um, I don't know if going up here will actually lead me out. It didn't. Okay, so I have to go around this building. Not that way. And not that way. Uh, do I have to jump up somewhere? No? Um, okay, then I guess I don't come in through this gate. Hmm. Hey, rats! and everything but I'm hungry so I can't believe I'm doing this shut up and eat we're hungry I just jumped down from a ow I mean you're still a vtuber you know even if you're just using a PNG like most VTubers start out with a PNG I did. Oh my god. What is happening? Alright. Oh, that was useless. Oh, that was useless. Oh, oh. Oh, I hate the lock-on. I hate it. I hate it. I'm gonna kill myself on accident, not intentionally. I'm going to get myself killed is actually what I meant to say. Please love me, Twitch. I'm having a fun time with it. Good lord. Oh my god. You lagging? This is no place for a gentleman. No? Are you not a gentleman? How do I miss? How do I miss? Alright. 
Now, if you guys would stop, I'm just walking here. You can't, like, get me in trouble for walking near you, you know? Whitechapel. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. What the hell is going on? I just heard gunshots. Are you all right? The bastard hit the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything, it ain't me. Mm-hmm. Medication and drugs are a rare commodity in East London. So you picked an easy target, didn't you? Shut off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. Ha. He's a war veteran. Perhaps you could help me. I said sod off. Go find yourself another guide. Why do I have to wait? All right. Goodbye, young man. How are you supposed to know that you're supposed to wait, though? He's literally the first one of the two that you run into. boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened. H who are you? I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd like to ask you a few questions if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me, not even you. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Have you heard anything? It's funny, I've been searching for it too. I need some pills. But the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is that? Word is she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migrants. What can you tell me about this place? Nothing to say, really. This is where I used to live, and this is where I live now. You don't have anywhere to go. No family that would welcome you. Not since the death of no my No one wife, who will miss you. Albert's mother. She was sick, you see. Long before the flu and all this shit. You mean you used to have a better life? Yeah, I had a wife, a home, and a job. I even used to have a name. And now I'm just Ben. Ben the Tramp. Perhaps you could focus for a moment and tell me your troubles. I'm sick, broke, and my son just stole my pills. <laughs> Everything's coming up roses. Is a migraine. Whatever the boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that I'm sick in the head, you see, and the boy just, just faked me last nerve. What is it, Benjamin? It was the war, wasn't it? Your nerves are shot, aren't they? I need some answers, Private. From one soldier to another. The doctors called me a liar. A coward. Put me in a straitjacket, locked me up. Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. It's a pity that doctors still practice such barbaric methods. It's a dishonor to our profession. Now only the pills stop me thinking about this shit. To not hear the explosions. I'm even scared of the dark these days. Benjamin needs medication since he came back from the front. 
Okay, so can I do the you should read this letter, or is it a choice between the two of them? Because, like, I don't even really understand what I'm, like, who I'm talking to. Choose the recruit. Oh, okay. What note? Huh? Oh. The thug who seemed to see him in his approach, Albert Palmer, the thug who was meant to meet him. I found a note about Albert on his corpse. I wonder who might find this so interesting. I mean, we should give it to his father, right? Because, like, why would we want him to become a member of his gang? I have found a very interesting letter. Your son planned to prove his worth to the gang by stealing your medicine. Oh, I see. So the little bugger thought he could use his dad to build a reputation. The gang's recruiter was dead when I found him. Perhaps you should take better care of your son. I love my Albert, sir. Believe me. It's just... A... Well, I'm an arsehole, I suppose. Anyway, thanks for the letter. This is for your trouble. Ingredients. Oh! Wait. Wait, what? Oh. The Swanboro Miracle Elixir is a con. Oh. I thought I had gotten the thing from Headaches. Oh. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. How I'm not your. Okay, I didn't know Goodbye if I got anything now. more. I'll not die in some okay, yeah, alley you said that a million times. All right, shut up. Your life away. Okay. Oh, you're dead. Okay. Mm. Ooh, I got a ring. What's going Excuse on? Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson to some, but Colossus Joe to most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. You're fine. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her a hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? I'll guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does. Well, yeah, I think that's a decent thing to be worried about. Justified. Totally. Look at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye before knocking him out. May I ask what you do around here? I do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now, sod off. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Welcome, sir. Please, take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. 
I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane? So the bitch really is a nurse then? Rude. I always thought she was just some crafty foreigner, that one. Yes, she's a nurse, and quite a good one. What did she do to gain such notoriety? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu. Something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse Crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for free. I offered to sell it for a fair cut, but no. Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. Wow, what a bitch. Trying to fucking <laughs> provide health care. What an asshole. How is business around here? Business? I had no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. Sounds <laughs> like you blame someone in particular for your situation. It's no secret Joe Peterson spends his time harassing merchants. But with me, he's trying to put me out of business once and for all. Really? Joe's extortions put Barrett Lewis in a tough financial situation. As a merchant, you see Whitechapel every day. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit, and no sign of the bottom yet. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me. Came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever. Madness. Something like that. Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged, though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. Oh. Have you been hurt? No, but that's only because I ran like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. Loot, you say? Right then. What do you have? Ooh. Is that what I need? I don't know what I need. Hold on. I thought I needed a good handle part or something. Tiny good handle part. Ooh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Fancy buying something, sir? You never Maybe. Right then. Uh, you only have two, you old bitch. Fine. Fancy buying. You... Right then. Hit the wrong button. Okay, uh, I need to talk to you because I got another hint. You. How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the Wet Boot Boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. You are a criminal who endorses criminal activity. The least you could do is stop hiding behind this pretense. I don't care what you think, sir. I do what I have to do for my own reasons, and that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. Hmm. Used to be good friends, you say. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. I have to talk to you again. 
I have a new Joe Peterson. He's the villain here, isn't he? But you seem to know each other. I've known Joe for years. I saw him box once or twice. He was a friend then. But these days, he's just another thug. What can you tell me about Mr. Peterson? Besides his behavior toward you, obviously. Colossus Joe was a decent boxer. Good one, even. But after his wife passed away, he found every excuse to stop training. Just wanted to pick fights with everyone. Without making excuses for him, it's safe to say that despair can poison even the sanest mind. We've all had some rough times, ain't we? But most of us don't use our fists to see us through. And no one has ever stood up to this thug. Nobody would be fool enough to stand against a wet boot boy. The wet boot boy? Uh, I don't... That name doesn't sound as intimidating as you think it does. Just so you know. Goodbye for now, Mr. Right. Oh, how'd you get over there? Hmm. Leave them alone, Joe. Is there anybody else I can talk to around here? Before I go main story. Probably not, because I don't see even any heartbeats around here, but... Oh, wait, no. Oh, hello! Yeah. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like to talk about competition. Competition, you say? Never met her, but it seems she provides some sort of medical care to the poor. The whole thing has to be some sort of scam, if you ask me. <laughs> really? Tell me, who intrigues you most in Whitechapel? The region itself is something to see, but I would say Camellia the mute florist who gives away her flowers. What do you think? Mm -hmm. The Most irony is thick and dead. suffocating. They all come to me eventually for my remedy. Is there anyone I should avoid? Cadogan Bates, without a doubt. The bloody bastard remorselessly exploits poor migrants as soon as they get here. Loretta, your miraculous formula wouldn't even cure a common cold, and you know it. The Swanborough's cordial secret ingredient is hope, Doctor. And it's something people around here really need. A placebo effect is real and has benefit. But in your case, you could be murdering your customers who may die because they are not receiving the necessary medical attention. Medical attention? In Whitechapel? Trust me, my cordial is the best option they have, since it is the only one. Well, as it is a placebo of sorts, Perhaps it may have some positive effect. See? You have to admit I'm doing some good. The Swanborough family is not poisoning anybody, Doctor. Hmm. I'd like to... St hmm. All right. That's where they are. Rats. Hmm. 
I just don't know how big this place is and why everybody's so sporadic. I'll never find anybody ever. I don't even know where to start. Oh! It's their mating call and I'm responding. I hear a cat. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Go northeast. Northeast. Oh, hello. How do I get to you, sir? Hold on, I'm getting distracted. Hello, young man. Hi. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? Okay, then. Come on in. I'm Harry, by the way. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. Step inside, immediately steal. So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. Sorry, one second. Oh my god, so annoying. Why would you message me that? Throne. Sorry about that. What could be worse? I got an email from Drone about, oh, there's something behind us. Like, do you know Nurse Did I? Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. Yes, I know her. She came here to examine me when I was very sick. <laughs> she said I should go out more. How do you feel? I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day, but I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. If only I could be tough, like... Well, you know. Mm. Speaking of which, what can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot who makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. I can do something about fatigue. Forgive my bluntness, young man. But you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? Harry has a frail constitution and is often sick. Did not want to live in Whitechapel in the first place. This place is awful, I agree. But does that not mean your situation can only improve? That's exactly what my father says. Harry? You should be grateful for what you've got. But I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I... I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody and frightening things. So that's why you stay at home all day? For fear of the epidemic? I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. Reed is so hot. Sorry, I know that's not important, but... He's just... He's like built perfectly. Love him. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. What happened, Harry? I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. Have you tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. 
I guess my father frightens him too much. But you are not responsible for your father's actions, am I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my safety. So if I wasn't born, people wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe. That's a bit of a stretch. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. I'll be back with medicine. I just have to make it. What? This place is huge! Ooh. <laughs> I, yes, always. Always the dream. Professional vampire hunters. If you ever suspect someone to be a vampire, don't try to kill it yourself. You have no chance. Instead, contact me or try to inform a professional vampire killer. These men and women are rare, but they know what to do against these evil creatures. It even seems that some of them are working together under, na under the name of the Guard of Proen, a paramilitary organization dedicated to the eradication of the vampires in London. They are your friends. You are not alone. Solutions exist. Be smart. Spread the word. Clarence Crosley. For more information, please contact me directly. Dear Mr. Peterson, it is my duty to inform you of our refusal to accept your application for a job at the dockyard. I must thank you for the time spent at our office explaining the difficulty of your situation with your ill boy and the loss of your beloved wife, but it is also my duty to point out the policy of our company, which expressly reproves the employment of former criminals or convicts. Your unfortunate connections with the ill-famed wet boot boys have been duly noted. These are hard times, sir, and Finch and Harper intend to reward. First, the candidates who pass the small inquiry we like to conduct about our future employees. You have my deepest sympathy, and may God be with you and your family. Sincerely, Dr. R.D. Harper. Joe cannot find a legal job because of his criminal record. It's locked, all right. Still don't have a lockpick. Always, always chasing the werewolf vampire threesome. Always. Every day of my life. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh. Okay. Well, hold on. Before I fucking forget, which I will, I need to find what's his face and talk to him. You. You again. Why do you keep on working for the gang, Joe? You know it doesn't suit you. It's true. I hate this job, and I know I made some bad choices, but I'm a wet boot boy now. People won't forget it. You could leave tomorrow. Start another life in another town. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. We are poor. My son's weak. And there's no way he'll endure another disappointment. Harry doesn't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why did you make him come here? I've always put my son's interests above everything else. Whatever he may think. Our house is small but affordable. The walls are thin. But the door is solid. You really love your son, don't you, Mr. Peterson? He's my pride and joy. Even if he hates me for the choices I make and pushes me buttons more than he should. Do you have any regrets? Only one. Not to have my beloved wife by my side. She died when Harry was little. My sweet Jane. She gave the boy confidence. Since the criminal nature of your job means you could be arrested. <laughs> Jemima. Are you not afraid of what would happen to your boy if you were? No one will ever take my son away from me. If that ever occurred, I'd, I'd hunt the bastard down and rip off his head with my bare hands. Goodbye. Okay, I got distracted. True. 
protection against malevolence and trickery. Yeah. Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. Rude. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses. But I especially abhor that nurse crane you mentioned. Because she actually helps people, or...? So you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential for modern healthcare. Nuns should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. It's obvious only they have the necessary moral fiber. Listen, man, people want to act out a nurse fantasy, they can subscribe to my Patreon. Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than... I'm sure I'll get to it eventually. Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance in her country. That's what happens when you let a woman get involved in politics. Dorothy has a clandestine resistance... Re resistant? In her homeland. Oh my god, I still have to find more people. There's a reason why you're alone, just so you know. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences, and most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know, blinded by science as I am? Well, you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. Answers? I am. But the answers I seek are based on facts, not superstition. He's calling religion superstition. What do you mean? When oh, quite well, you... Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth as a doctor you must be aware of a decimating epidemic but let me tell you his accent keeps so slipping Spanish flu is just the beginning of the end what do you mean the beast is finally revealing itself corrupting the flesh and the heart of men with my own eyes i have seen them those minions from the abyss really and what would be your answer to this biblical threat? We must Repent. fight the disease before this legion outnumbers us. But not with scalpels and microscopes. No. What is left then? Cleansing fire. Tell me, Tobias. What exactly is your plan concerning the cleansing of this city? God will recognize his own. More than once, this city has risen from the ashes, hardened and purified by the flame. He's gonna set this on fire? Purification and by fire has proved useful, but we're all gonna die. Well, they're gonna die. I'm not gonna be here. The buildings? The corpses? Worse? Your lack of faith is predictable. But my task is to convince rational minds like yours to see the light. This is God's will. You're mad and dangerous. You're nothing but a soulless butcher. A small time Torquemada. The Savonarola <laughs> of Whitechapel. My son. Who? If you think salvation is a free gift, go listen to the lies of that pompous fool, Joseph. Joseph, a fool. Vicar Larrabee of St. Mary's Church while he continues preaching his fraudulent redemption more and more people die in the streets tobias wants to cleanse the but i might buy fire tobias believes that vicar of saint mary's church joseph larrabee is preaching a false faith Have you any friends? Any family left in these terrible times? 
<laughs> yeah, real rational. The disciple I see is my son. He is so devoted. I send him to preach the good word in the heart of this corrupted city. Where did you send him? I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery, where the pestilence and evil grows night after night. You sent him on some preaching crusade during the epidemic. As a true believer, Samuel will fear no evil while he walks through the valley of the shadow of death. Okay, dude. I have heard Whatever enough. you say. You weirdo. Oh, I can't go into the church. That would be silly. new people Ow. don't be shy handsome what can hey, salary do for you i'm not looking for what you're selling but i'd like to ask you a few questions if i'm we're not i'm a doctor dr reed all right then but be quick though i usually get okay paid when i open my mouth <laughs> me too do you know nurse dorothy crane from the pembroke hospital anything you can tell me about her would be helpful I don't know her, but I know her name is Dorothea Krasionescu. She came from Romania like me and many others. You seem to respect her. <laughs> Dorothea helps the sick people of Whitechapel. Everyone should respect that. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London, and you could be exposed or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals. But I don't like you asking questions. Okay, she also has fatigue. Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. You can put your own life in danger. That's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger too. And you think that would worry me? <laughs> if you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. Fair enough. Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. Christina could not find any decent job because she was a migrant. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. Okay. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Alright, so I need like two things of fatigue medicine. Where did the other guy go? Come here, yo. I must speak with you. Hello? Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby, reporter. Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you, you remind me of the guy the that is My in name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll Fuck, what's the name of that show that Gull and I literally talked about on the podcast? Bridgerton? Bridgerton. Reminds me of Bridgerton. What is a journalist doing in this borough after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go, to inform the country. So you risk your life to reveal the truth. I saw many reporters do the same during the war. Whitechapel is the crucible of so many untold stories and tragedies. I want people to know them. Uh, 
Clayton wants newspapers to print the truth about Whitechapel's situation. You also have fatigue. Everybody's got fatigue. 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 Migraine. Cold. Migraine. Fatigue. Fatigue. One, two, three, four. Four fatigues and a cold. I can't cure migraines yet. But I think I actually probably have enough to cure most of these people. That's right now. Of you. But is the I'm a loot whore. Not all, sir. And that's need to find me a bench. Journalist, hoping to sell some stories. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Why are the newspapers keeping silent about the Spanish influenza? It's as though none of you care. There's a war going on. People shouldn't be demoralized by news of deadly diseases. If no one stops it, this epidemic could turn into a scourge. It may kill more people than the war itself. Yes. I know, I'm just... There wasn't as many sick people in the hospital, I guess is what I meant. History will judge us all for what we did and what we did not. Have you any idea of the danger you face in these streets at night? I've had to run and hide more than once from frenzied mobs in sense. Which I guess it makes more sense because there's no doctors here. Are responsible for this, Doctor? That science is unable to explain the facts doesn't mean there is no rational explanation. I confess, I share your point of view, Doctor. Christina Popper claims she sells her body because she can't find any other work. Do you believe her? Of course I do. Her story is exactly what I want my readers to understand. We live in an intolerant and divided nation. Do you think things will ever change, Mr. Darby? I believe the situation can only improve. And now that women can vote, I'm convinced things will change. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Oh, well. Okay. Can't go through there. Uh, no, wrong button, as usual. I'm still missing three people, and one of them is wearing a hat. Which means that it's probably a gang member, but it's probably the story guy, right? Because I think that's the one that I'm... Yeah, I just need to find uh, a workbench. If I can find a workbench, then I can at least cure all the fatigue and the cold. Uh huh. No, I'll get there. I'm sure it's around here somewhere, and if not, I could just go back to the hospital. What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. Okay, where does it want me to go? Oh, come on, I had it. Fuck. There we go. Hello, Miss Crane. The strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be from Whitechapel. Perhaps just the friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidercott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. 
I swear he is tracking me just downwind. Darius is the right arm of Dorothy Green. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. I met, uh... God damn it. I met another god? Another god? I literally just spoke to you. Oh, you have bronchitis. I think I could cure that too. I just need to find a beach. Oh, you're way the fuck away. Good evening, Olé, Doctor. Can I help you? you? I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm a doctor, Mr. Darby. I care about everything involving public health and this epidemic. Are you sure you're not just concerned about the repercussions that a scandal involving a certain nurse crane from the Pembroke Hospital would bring? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. He has no relatives at all? No. Except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. He never goes out? No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Hmm. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. He played a popper. Wait, what? Who's screaming? Jerk. Quarantine influenza keep out by order of the Board of Hell. Influenza frequently complicated with pneumonia to prevent any risk of the same as we stay at home. Stay at home. Quarantine. Find Richard in the area. Oh, hello. You okay? 
Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. A little biting. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. Are you aware that your life could be in danger in this part of town? But this is where I must be to feel the real beat of the city. I had to come, see it for myself, alone. Are you dumb? I understand your need for solitude. I do? <laughs> it's not safe around here. I don't care. I don't have many friends, Doctor. And my family despises me. That's if sad. misfortune came upon you, who would be here to help you? Well, you for a start, my dear Doctor. Oh god, you have a cold. Man, is everybody sick in this stupid game? May I ask what you're doing at this hour? I gotta cure everybody! Do you live here? Not at all. I'm just enjoying the pleasure of a quiet walk. Though night talks are always preferable, if you ask me. Especially with strangers. Oh. But are you not afraid of the... Because their blood isn't oh, as tasty I? when they're I sick. some equity in the Spanish flu. Uh, no flesh should be saved, say the scriptures. Good or evil, rich or poor. All are equal in the eyes of the flu. Okay, you Nurgle cultist. say so. But as a physician in a time of epidemic, I must caution you to avoid unnecessary exposure, sir. Thank you, Doctor. But we both know the seeker of truth has to go boldly where the weak dare not. What are your thoughts on the terrible situation in this city? Terrible, you say? No. Of course, the death of so many innocents is a tragedy. But the scourge has not been all bad for the city. Oh, no, sir. What are you talking about? Do you remember London before the flu? Noisy, cacophonic, quiet, nowhere to be found. And now, listen to this oddly peaceful silence. Yes, the enjoyable silence of the grave. You have a unique perspective on the situation, I must admit. Most people fail to understand my perspective. I don't blame them. But how could I call myself a poet if I veiled my feelings? Tell me, Mr. Nethercott, why seek inspiration in Whitechapel? The place is not beautiful per se, but uh, how to explain it? Stirring and challenging. Oops. Tell me, Mr. The pl Do you not think it a little morbid? On the contrary, sir. Whitechapel is full of life. Full of beauty, just like my dear muse, the wonderful Camellia. What can you tell me about Camellia? Not much, and that's the beauty of it. She can't speak, you know. She's a locked mystery who exhales kindness and sweetness. Oh yeah, she's the other one. But sh her social circle is with... Oh wait, never mind, sorry, I thought that was the guy. Millie is like amused to Richard Nithercott. He sees her as a locked mystery. I haven't met her yet, though. Perhaps you're just afraid to find out the truth about your muse. One day, perhaps, I'll ask her to come with me. But ah, will she still be my wild flower of Whitechapel if she moves uptown? And have you ever tried to learn more about her? Where she lives? How she survives, whom she may know. Maybe I prefer she remains an enigma. Reality can be so dull, don't you think? <laughs> In what way, exactly? The struggle by gaslight, the barren smiles, and the arid hunger under the rain. If you say so. Such vibrant antagonism and vivid paradox, the stripped humanity raged across each street. Vivid, of course, yes. And what about the poignant distress? Oh yes, the poignant distress. You see what I mean, don't you? That's what I want to write about. And that's what Whitechapel is made of. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane. 
a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. But sorry, no, never heard of her. Really? What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist Ooh, activities no. only require mediocre writing skills. Darius is a former Romanian political activist. Explains why he and Dorothy work together. I'll leave you alone, sir. Find the mailbox and the letter. So I still have to find the florist. Never ran into her. Sycophant Publishing ltd lavender court camden street london dear mr nethercott thank you for sending your book of poems songs from the defeated city which we found as interesting and profound as we told you the first time we received it alas in the terrible times our country is currently facing you must understand that such title would be totally inappropriate for any publication thus since you still refuse to change your title and demand the full publication or none of your work I'm sorry to announce that Sycophant Publishing chose the second option. With kindest regards, A.G. Morris. Richard has never succeeded in poetry. Alright, I'm about to fucking drag this man! Come to this world already touched. Good evening. And good evening. You don't really make a living from your scribblings, do you, Richard? No, sir, I don't. I work so hard. I put all my time, my energy, my devotion into the precise carving of words. Still, you don't seem to suffer from poverty. With thanks to my parents, actually. I'm afraid I would not be able to live on my own without their help. You seem embarrassed. Someday I hope to proudly offer my first publication to my parents. Until that day, I'll remain the failure of a son they have to support. Richard feels guilty about depending on his fit parents' financial support. I'll leave you alone, sir. Sanj. Oh, Camilla! Amelia. Give me a moment while I pick up this flower. It, it was glowing. It let me, let me, let me in. Flower bouquet, a small flower bouquet with a voucher for a free medical checkup hidden beneath the flowers. Camilla secretly distributes medical vouchers for Dorothy Burns dispensary. Ma'am. Oh. Ma'am. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you a few questions. God, I hope you're not sick, too. All right, she's mute. Thinking. A tall stranger who meets a girl in the street at night. It reeks of the penny dreadfuls. But I mean you no harm, truly. Okay, she's fine. I know you understand what I'm saying. Your silence has nothing to do with you being mute, does it? Tell me about Richard Nithergott. I understand he is quite fond of you, Amelia. What is the point of talking Amelia, to her? I know you work for Dorothy Crane. Please tell me about her secret dispensary. Hmm. A stubborn and mute comrade. Nurse Crane and Darius Petrescu have been clever. Very well. Fucking pointless. <laughs> Find the mailbox.
Oh. I'm looking for a mailbox. I thought that was a mailbox, but... This is over there. But I think it just means it's around here somewhere. It's not going to tell me exactly where it is, because that would be useful. Is this red thing not the mailbox? I mean, it is a mailbox, but I guess it's... Oh. Idiot. Darius Petrescu's letter. My dearest, most beloved son, I'm so sorry you have not heard from me in months. The situation in London has been difficult. I know it may sound selfish and silly when you and my children are still living in a country consumed by war, but there's also a war going on here in England. A war against poverty and against injustice. This is a war I intend to fight despite my advanced years. This is why I'm writing to you today. I won't be coming back to Romania. That probably means I won't see you again before I die. Don't be sad, my darlings. You are grown up now, and you have children of your own. You know the sacrifice we sometimes must accept to make the world a better place. This is one I must make now, to be useful one more time. I wish you a long and happy life. Kiss my grandchildren for me, and remember that your father loves you all the way from this cold, damp country. I am as ever your loving father, Darius Petrescu. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Alright, you little shill me in. And you better have a workbench so I can get a working. Oh, wait. It's locked, all right. Are you serious? You motherfuckers. You gave me hope. I thought the red doors were usually hideouts. Why is it locked? I guess I probably have to do main story and then it'll let me in. Rude, honestly. Making me do the story. Oh, no, it's okay. I'll get there. Eventually. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. Let me in. Do you not regret it? <laughs> As I steal everything from your house? I thought I saw a thing, but... If you want to talk to Dorothea, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. And I also run this little print shop. Did you refuse to publish Richard Nivercott's previous works, Darius? Yes. His manuscript is as pompous as he is starched. 
No, there's a man who loves the sound of his own voice. You could have told him so. As a great writer recently said, politeness is the most acceptable hypocrisy. So Dorothy's real name is not Crane. Like myself and many people in this area, Dorothea is from occupied Romania. That's all you need to know. She seems important to the community. More than you can imagine. The West End does not want to hear of Whitechapel's misery. Dorothea is one of the few doing something about it. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Are you not worried for her safety? She is as brave as she is tough. And clever, too. If only I had met her when I was younger. Are you in love with Camellia, Mr. Prochescu? Don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. Huh. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here, that's all we know. Camellia is not even her name. It's her favorite flower. You say she has no close family. Well, there's that awful poet who constantly follows her around like a lost puppy. A good man, for sure, but a very poor writer. Tell me everything you know. I do... Oh, sorry. It looked like it was... Yeah, it looks like it's still lit up, but... Tell me... I do... Weird. I know you fought for your country when it was occupied, Darius. Tell me more about it. I know my days are numbered, and I know I won't see my homeland again. But I fought for Romania all my life, and I will until my last breath. But Romania escaped the grasp of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a free country again. But it's not the country I fought for. My homeland is not appeased, Doctor. I still see a dark future ahead for my people. Do you have any family left, Mr. Petrescu? Children or grandchildren? Who knows? I have abandoned my people for so long, they might as well be dead. As dead as I am for them, I suppose. Don't be embarrassed, sir. If you must know, my own father disappeared many years ago, and I forgave him. Oh, his dad's the vampire. I'm calling it now. Thank you, Dr. Reed. I appreciate your trust. This war won't last forever. Did you ever think of returning to your country now it's free? No. I have taught strength and determination to my sons and daughters. I'm an old, dying man, who only has memories of better times to cherish. How did you meet Nurse Crane, Darius? Why does she trust you? I'm her oldest friend in England. Dorothea and I share many ideas about this country, and about the country we left. You mean occupied Romania, don't you? Even if not directly, I fought against your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than meets the eye, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. I've unlocked that. Game, do not lock me. I do what I want. Hello. Ooh, medicine. 
<laughs> Immediately walks in, steals all of the medicine. How can I help? It's gotta be a desk here, right? It looks like it. Just probably have to talk to her. And she'll let me work here. So much loot here. We love it. Letter to Nurse Crane. London, 31st October. My Dorothea. When you read this letter, I will be on the boat that will take Anton and me back to Braz Brazov. England was not for us, and I confess I cannot wait to see you again, the proud hills of Transylvania. As soon as we are there... Oh, I can't wait to see again the proud hills of Transylvania. As soon as we are there, I promise I'll light a candle in the black church and pray for you to survive this terrible pandemic. Epidemic. I know that you do not agree with this decision, but that you are determined to be more useful by helping our comrades exiled in the East End. But Anton cannot wait to return to our beloved country and say our long-awaited revolution bloom. He's my husband. I will stay by his side. I know we had our arguments and our fights. I know you would have wanted me to stand by your side and help you manage this clinic of yours. But now that I'm leaving London, I'm assured that if anything would happen to you, if you ever were in great trouble in or in danger, I would come back immediately to London with or without Anton. Please think of me as much as I think of you. I'm your affectionate sister, Theodora. Dorothea has a sister in Romania. Romania. Yeah, but communism isn't bad, though. <laughs> Sucks to be you. I'm looting. What do we have? I here? was looting. Razvan Vasily, high fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Skull, hand me that skull. What can I do, Doctor? It's too dangerous to operate with these convulsions. Sedative, nurse. Do we have any anesthetics? I'm sorry, Doctor, none at all. Well, we're doing it anyway. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. We need an aseptic environment. Do you have one? No. Well, then shut the fuck He's up. still bleeding, doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. Get yourself under control, dude. I must... first suture the artery. Find the wound. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. 
We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor. Then we ate him. What? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Cardiac massage. Now. Cardiac? What? Are you making this up as you go along? Yes. I mean, punished because I'm not a doctor in real life? Well, that doesn't seem fair. <laughs> We've lost the pulse. He, he's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen- I had my hand before. inside his chest, dude. What more did you want? Neither have I, but the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No, there was something more vile in these reactions, something primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. to test my bedside manners. Sorry, dude. Game punished me for fucking not knowing how to it's treat locked. a... It's, it's locked. Fucking the Spanish flu, I guess. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me. Everybody I spoke to spoke English. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime. And it will stop, Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Oh. Nurse Crane, there is no question that the work you've done here is extraordinary. Chomp. This dispensary is incapable of coping with the outbreak. It's only a question of days before the situation at hand will overwhelm us. I cannot allow it. It's my duty to put an end to this immediately. Chomp. I'm not ashamed. I did what was right. For in the end, I saved lives and you took them but we had so much in common doctor don't you see that mm. a 
Chomp, 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 chomp. Shall do where do there's a key on that? Small key probably open ooh. Don't worry, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna eat everyone here anyway. So they won't so the fuck was that? Treatment for headache! Oh, wait, that's treatment, not how I... Ooh? Medical voucher? No. Fuck. Got a treatment for it, but I don't know how to make it. Still. Who the fuck is being loud down here, huh? What are you doing here? Damn it! Ow! No, I don't like that. Moron. Ow. Thanks, I missed those apparently when I came in here looting everything the last time. Alright, yous. I saw you outside. Hello. You motherfucker. Yep. And you're next. How did I? All right. Ow. Oh, will you? I apparently didn't have the blood to do a choice. Fucking hurt. Little bitch. All right. Well, I think I'm going to do everybody's side quests, find a thing, cure everyone, and then eat everyone at this rate. Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Hi. Dr. Reed. Come on in. Thank you. Yeah, I need to cure you of your bronchitis before I eat you. I cannot imagine the bronchitis it's tastes locked. good. Oh, I can't heal myself in the middle of town. I guess that makes sense. All right. Let's see. Retrieve Barrett Luce's box. <laughs> Hello. Ow! You little creep. Uh, sir, you're T posing. Just going to use you to fill up my blood, if you don't mind. Is 
since you're a little baby back bitch. Okay, so 50 meters up in this way. It's in a building around here somewhere. What? This is crazy. I am a vampire that can teleport. Like, how can I not jump a little? <sighs> Fine. Go around then, I guess. <laughs> Old man needs a vampire. What is happening? It's definitely going to be in this building. Got a used hatchet. Need a used machete so I can upgrade the machete that I have. This could be the box Lewis thought he lost. Huh. There's a letter inside. I love snooping. What's the letter? Uh, where's my inventory? Barrett, there is no easy way to say it, so I'm just going to be blunt. We can't keep on like this. At least I can't keep on like this. If Joe ever finds out about us, about his wife and his best friend, it will crush him, and then he will kill you. We had some good times together, but let's face it, I'm never going to be your Jane Lewis. You know it, and I know it too, so I'm ending this right here and right now. If you agree with my decision, I'm sure we'll find a way to be happy again. You, Joe, and me in time. And then the most important part of our story will have been preserved. Until that day, I wish you'd forgive me. Goodbye for now, Jane Pe Petter a Peterson. A letter from Joe Peterson's wife addressed to Barrett Lewis. Who should I give it to, I wonder? Oh, shit. Oh, oh, hey, buddy. Hi, where did you come from? Yeah, I know, right? Okay, so I got that. 
Retrieve Samuel the Disciple in the graveyard. 200 meters that way. Oh, hello. Hi! That'd be me. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Idiot, how's that? I'm already in hell. Come here, you. I'm in 1918 fucking London during the Spanish flu. I'm already in hell. You can't send me anywhere worse than this. You are blinded by your false fame. Shut up. You didn't see anything. <laughs> Most of them don't speak English. How am I supposed to interview them? They all speak English. I've spoken to every single person here. And they all speak English. What do you mean? Oh, he jumped. What an asshole. I'm sorry, you, you want me? Ah! Oh god, oh god, okay. Shit out of me. <sighs> That's annoying. Reverend. Busy. He fucking would it? Oh, he drains my blood. What a dick.
Oh god, oh god! Oh my god, this guy sucks! Oh, he sucks! But I'm gonna beat him. I just have to dodge more. I cannot believe he drains my blood, what a dick. I know, he does have hands. Hey, Panda. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. You little creeps. No, 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 not you. Stay away from me. No. No, my blood. No. That's mine. If you don't fucking... Ah. No, 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 no. You little... Oh, that wasn't fair. Where did they even come from? Yeah, well, I don't care. I'm leaving. No, my blood. My fucking god, you dick. I don't have any blood, stupid asshole. If you fucking kill me right now. No! Oh, I thought I could get him first. Ugh. Eh. I almost had him. That was really good. I just ran out of blood so I could smack him with my claws. God damn it.
Oh no. No, stop. No, 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 my blood. I worked hard for that. Oh, God. Oh, what happened? Okay. Come here, you. Come on. Ow. Oh my god. Ow. Okay, I'm leaving. Ow. Stop it. I cannot believe that this keeps happening. I don't have any blood, but it's fine. Oh, he fucking resisted. Oh, yes. You little bitch. This man stung me with his face. His crucifix. This oh. is not good news. Little bitch. I don't even remember what I was doing. But I got him. That looked like it was glowing. I thought I could loot it and I could not. What was I doing anyway? <laughs> I got so distracted with my need to defeat enemies that kill me. Going to the cemetery. Sure, sure, sure. Hello. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, what? Will you fucking quit it? All right, what is going on? Ow! He hit me. Me being a vampire is not an excuse for rudeness. Like I've been here before. Oh yeah? Ooh, okay. I feel like I've been here before, haven't I? Or did I run away? Ooh, a strange formula. Did I get it immediately? Yes. No, oh, I can't. Huh? Wait. What?
Wait, I can't open the door? The gate, I mean? Wait, then... Huh? Can maybe I go around? No, there was no way to go around. What? So wait, so I can't do this quest right now? Oh, I never tried to go this way. Hold on. Is this not where I came from? Okay, well, I can't go this way. That's not, what the fuck? What? <laughs> Alright. I don't know what that means. Oh my god. Fucking actually getting Capcom here. Cool, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Where am I? So I don't understand. They want me to go. Why? Just fucking open the door, dude. Oh. Yes. Hide out. Yes. Yeah, I got it. Thanks. I've done that already. Ooh, treatment for head. Okay, so how many fatigues do I have to cure? Okay, um, wait, hold on. So I need, what do I need? I need... One, two, three, four, four, hold on, four fatigues. Two migraines, two colds, and a bronchitis. Okay, I need four fatigues, two colds, one bronchitis, two headaches. And I need a headache for back at the other place, too. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ow. Hello. I didn't break down my stuff either, but...
Oh, wait. Oh, so I just I can't increase the machine anymore. Okay. Oh, I still need one more. Heck. Alright. Alright. So back to what I was doing before I was rudely interrupted by the rude people. Okay. So this is where I am. And I need to get in there. Oh, so I go down and then here and around? Okay. This will, like, help me indicate where the heck I'm supposed to go. Alright, so go down this way. Okay. And then down to this intersection and then to here. Not a good place for a stroll. Yeah, it is for me. Seeing as I'm a vampire. that why did you take one of my health sir it's cheating good morning It will take you up to the cemetery. Oh, okay. I could do that. So I should do main quest then. Okay, then I'll ignore that for now. But that's... She's 150... She's all the way back in What's-His-Face. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Dead inside. Oh, hello! I always love a surprise werewolf. I'm Capcoming me out! I let up. It kind of looks like a lion. I'll be honest. That's what I think of when I look at them. They I remind me of lions. It's locked, all right. Okay, I'll just go fuck myself then. <laughs> uh, sure, for a hundred and fifty a minute. <laughs> but don't worry, I don't last long. <laughs> Me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Oh my god, how is this faster?
I cannot enter. I'm gonna lose it. I am a vampire. How can I not open doors? Where am I even going? Over here. Okay. <laughs> 15 bucks for 150 a minute? What? <laughs> Hello? Where's my marker? Oh, okay. Decided to tell me I wasn't allowed. This elixir will give you faith again. <laughs> it's long door right here. Uh, it's a hundred and fifty a minute, like I said. <laughs> I'm glad you love it because it's driving me crazy. No, I actually really enjoy myself. It's not the game's fault that I can't follow a map. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Okay, but like, who cares? What is going on? Kill him, boy! What? What? This was an accident? I didn't mean to be here? Yep. Also, oh my. Yeah, I did, I think. Oh, what else is new? I'm trying not to be locked on, please. I hit the wrong button. Please, sorry, I need to eat your friend. I'm hungry. I am so f getting, I'm getting fucked. Oh my god, what the fuck, man?
I'm pissed. I fucking... I, Dials, if you are not watching my screen, I'm literally using the lock-on feature and it is fucking me. Because it will just randomly change targets and flip me around for no reason. Hello? What'd you save on my head? Ah. I'm doing the wrong button. I'm down. I'm sorry. I'm pissed. Get away from me. May I continue with my day? Thank you. Why did I just randomly turn around? I mean, gameplay and like how people prefer to play is subjective, right? So it might be easier to have lock on for you, but for me, it's incredibly disorienting and it doesn't fucking do anything to help me most of the time. The only way it's beneficial is when I use the little like uh right trigger thingy. Oh god, the guy in the background is on like two FPS. Alright. I somebody has a headache here. I'm doing that before I do anything else. You. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need my medical attention? There is no shame in helping each other. We're colleagues, after all. Many doctors I have known are too cynical to think that way. There you go. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Goodbye forever. As once I sleep, I'm gonna eat everyone here. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. Because I'm pretty sure everyone's good. Everyone's full. I think the only thing I would need is mesmerize levels, but I'm pretty sure those will increase as I eat people, right? Oh, I haven't gotten you still. Never mind. There's still one person here that I need to I'll level up before I eat everyone. But I have cured everyone of illness here. Everybody. Oh, wait, no, I haven't. Who the fuck are you? Oswald, where are you? And why do you have a headache? Get out, get out of here. Oh, I haven't gotten Pippa? Pip, what's going on? Who? Goodbye, Nas Hawkins. 
could eat. Fuck. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. I mean, if I need them for lock on, I will, but right now it's not helpful. <laughs> What's I doing? Like, I'm aware of how the lock-on function works. It's not like I, I don't know how to use it. So if I need to use it for something, I can. I just don't like to because it doesn't work for me right now. Goodbye, Milton. <gasps> oh. Hmm. That's awkward. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. I'm gonna eat you. You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? You can't eat her. Is somewhat can't I? Less. I have not been she has experienced died for many decades. I have to say I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiry anyway. concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed permanently you will not be bothered anymore by the woman and who was this woman if you must know she worked under my employ as nurse crane but i'll wager that's not what will be written on her gravestone you killed her is that what you consider discretion and diplomacy dr reed i did what i thought was best. uh is this the pot calling the kettle black or what you will learn that trust is a rare and precious commodity in the immortals world my young doctor and your actions have not induced me to offer you my support i don't understand why was i created and then left for dead that is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? The process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution. And I'm no fool. A vampire? Is that what I am? What? What we are. What do you mean? Such a crude word. Defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No. You are now an Ekon. And that you shall remain. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How 
To put it, all Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... but a branch of the immortal tree. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. You know that. Yeah, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Skulls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? <laughs> the same reason he allows Dr. us. He is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders. As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. When I awoke, changed. I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely it was the once glorious guard of Prewen. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn <laughs> to destroy our kind. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society. I need to move them. Like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seemed they have been recruiting. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. <laughs> 21. No, thank you. But I do not want to be a fetus. That bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. What is it you fear? I don't know, the vampire epidemic, dude? Form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. I don't want to be 21 because that means that 21-year-old boys are going to go after me. No thanks. Are there many like I said, Give me a man with a 401k, a retirement plan, and a savings account to spend on me. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel to let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? 
Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. <laughs> Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. I bid you farewell. For now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. The Pembroke is so lucky to have Dr. Reed, you know. I met him yep. in New York. So lucky. Do you think that I should sleep so that I can eat everyone here? So that everybody will, like, regen? Because I don't know what to do about Elwood or Ackroyd. I think they might be non... No, I still have a few people, never mind. That I need to get things for. Oh, well, he can never be maxed. There's a clue I still need for him. Two clues I still need for him. A clue I need for him. Two I need for her. He hasn't spawned here yet and I can't do anything with him. Nah, I want to make sure that I do it in a way that's not going to fuck me. And I also need, uh, like, mesmerizing levels, but I don't know how I get those. Increase the stamina and regeneration rate by 50% for 15 seconds. Rathvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Do you think that I should sleep, um, Dials? Now that I've cured everyone here? Or should I go back and cure everyone in the other place and then sleep? So that they don't get extra fucking things. Alright. Then I will... Go and talk to Swansy. And then I'll go to the other place and cure everyone. Can I get your professional opinion. Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. Oh. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? It's so obvious. I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? 
By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here, but it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. I admit it did occur to me. Blood seems to be the common factor in all of this. I totally agree. We're in uncharted territory here. Maybe it's just wishful thinking, but imagine the possibilities. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. Yes? I have some rather bad news. Mm. Yes? Are you firing me? I'm afraid it's your sister. Oh. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary... Saifar had just followed. I see. Thank you so much for the follow, Saifar. Thank you, thank you. Please accept my condolences. Okay. Who cares? I don't want a vampire army. I don't want... <laughs> I want to be left alone. All right. I never thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Mary, I can't forgive myself. Um. I'll find the truth about what happened to us. I swear. Yeah? You kind of forget that you killed her? My murdered sister. The sister that I murdered. Immediately. Oh, that's not gonna hit either of them. Oh. Thankfully he walked into it. Oh my god, I thought that was going to hit me and I was going to be pissed. That's fine. I'll go back and sleep there anyway. I'm just going to go over here and cure everyone. This is not where I want to go. Wait, what? What? I didn't even need to come here. God, I'm so confused. Okay. Go this way, I think. Yeah, okay.
What's going on? Oh, okay. I understand. Hello, I'm here. To fix. Hello? How are you? Do you need a sister? There you go. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very funny. Haha. Uh -huh. Have you heard anything about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Nurse Crane? Yeah, I heard she's doing all right. Connected and protected. Goodbye, young man. The wet boots will be proud of me. All right. Here's your migraine medicine. Have you a bit? You don't seem well. Oh, what? Uh... Hey, token. Wait, I don't have my great fuck. I sorry, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I have a skip. Fuck me. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, I need to go. I'll be right there. I must have made headache medicine and not migraine medicine. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. Um, okay, up and around, I think. Uh. What is the difference, anyway? Headache, migraines, same difference. Oh wait, I walked right by it, apparently. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stupid fucking hideout with his door locked. Loot, 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 loot. I know, it's ridiculous. Can't open a fucking door. Wait, didn't I have multiple people that had migraines? So So did I just do the wrong thing? Okay, wait, okay. I have fatigue, 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 migraine, migraine. Oh, I guess I made two headaches. So I need two migraines instead. Well, they need to figure it out, all right? All right. Oh, hello. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Ow! 
You're gonna punch me that hard for hitting the wrong button? No, oh, I'm glad you do. I... I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I hate this game. This game is trash, zero out of ten. I'm just trying to live, alright? I'm just trying to live my life. Can I go inside now? Okay, great. Glad we, glad we established that. <laughs> it's going pretty good, other than the fact that I'm trash and keep getting murdered. But other than that, it's pretty fun. How are you, offensive monotony? <laughs> yep, yep. Um, all right, so now I can go back and I can talk to people and be like, listen, idiots, I have the difference between migraine and headache medicine, I guess. Entropy zero, I've never heard of that. Okay, you're healthy, so I don't need to talk to you. You have a migraine. <laughs> yeah, I just, you keep, you told me not to sleep. Can I help? You don't stop. I can try to help your body heal, sir, but you must stop destroying it. The war destroyed me, Doctor. A gun, alcohol. This man says at the beginning of the game, hey, don't level or don't sleep. It'll spread disease, so just keep playing until you can cure everyone's disease and then goes, hey, you should sleep, idiot. <laughs> Aren't you? It was a suggestion. <laughs> and now you told me what to do and I listen. You know I'm a bottom. Hello, Mr. Pat Hello. You said do it and I took your word as gospel, okay? Do you need help? Well, I think you do. Take this, and you'll feel better. Three drugs from an English doctor. <laughs> it must be my lucky day. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Ooh. Ooh, I never go in here? The antique figure of the Vricolacus? On my many journeys, I believe I was the most amazed by my exploration of the Mediterranean Isles, and particularly the island of so Santorini. Searching for traces of vampire presence in these sunburnt lands, Herodotus himself refers to the islands in his... Y yes, you did. You said... If you sleep, there is a chance you the diseases will spread. So cure everyone at the same time before you sleep. But I couldn't cure everyone because people had headaches in the main camp and I didn't have the cure for the headache yet. So I had to keep playing until I got the headache cure so I could cure everyone so I could sleep. Herodotus himself refers to the Ireland in his the fourth book, and I'm personally convinced that there are many mysteries to be unveiled in this part. <laughs> Don't cure anyone. I have to. Their blood tastes nasty. Who knows that? Even today, the island of Centurini is still considered by some as the most vampire-infested place in the world. Way more than the 
Carpathians, Carpathians, and that is inhabitants are considered as specialists of the vampire hunt or the hunt for the Vicolacas. <laughs> it's okay. As they call this creature. I think it's funny to like play um, like a little underleveled. I think it makes it like more like entertaining as I die all the time. <laughs> According to the local myths, the Vicolacas is a dead person who does not decay and who can show a vermilion complexion as long as he is gorged with fresh blood. He cannot enter a house without knocking and getting a response. Garlic makes him flee. He does not consume under the sun, but his skin blackens. He can change into wolf and other animals. What struck me the most is that the same name exists with small variations from Mediterranean Sea to the Blackens, to the Balkans, sorry. The Greeks call him the Vrico, Vri, Vricolas? Vri, Vrilo, God, fuck me. Uh, Vricolax? Vricolacans. <sighs> the Bulgarians and the Macedonians named him Varkolak or Varsolak. The Serbians call him Vuk Odlak, yes, Vukolak, a name so similar to the Vulkod we already know, my dear brothers. Just to write the f few words now gives me the shivers. I'm personally convinced that we uh, are here confronted to some of proto vampires. Maybe they are miss. May oh my god. Maybe they are a missing link between the modern vampires and the creatures that came before them. If God allows me enough time, I wish one day to go back to the Santorini Island and find the trail of this antique and forgotten figure from drinking at the Fountain of Knowledge by Usher Talltree, primate of the Saint Paul. I will be right back, real fast. All right, I'll be right back. Enjoy your lurk! Okay. It's locked, all right. All right. Cured you. You're recovering. Where's everyone? <laughs> so funny you are. You both are healthy. Oh, yep. Good evening, Harry. Sure. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. So I'm not. Do you need it? Yes. 
You'll feel better with this. But you need to get a grip, young man. Medication alone won't cure melancholia. I'm not sure I'm happy with the idea of living long in a world like this. Don't worry, you won't. But I thank you for your concern, sir. Goodbye, young man. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? Yes. So, get used to it. What? Was this the... thing I was just in? I think this is the thing I was just in. Yeah, this was. Okay. Place that I died in. <laughs> well, that's the whole point, is that my character believes in free healthcare. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Those are rats, not people. But really, it's the same thing. They're just blood bags. <laughs> so true, bestie. I just hear a baby cry. Kill it. I just came from here. You're healthy. You are blinded by your Where are all the sickies? There you are. Good evening, Christina. Do you need any assistance? I am shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. What that Oh. Clayton Darby claims he will expose the crisis in Whitechapel to all of London. Do you believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Why this skepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? Or about poverty? Or anything else you have never suffered from? Are you talking from experience? I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap room or a dark alley before going back to their fancy houses in the West End. Okay. Goodbye, miss. Good evening, do you need assistance? That would be nice of you, Doctor. Who knows what I may have caught during my investigation. If you persist in investigating the most pox-ridden boroughs of London, you must accept the risks. Thank you, sir. Hippocratic Oath. Have you I'll never... Goodbye. I got a Chivo. I've cured ten people. Who else is still sick? Oh, fuck me. Sorry. Okay, so I still need to find... I don't know where he is, and I don't know why he's sick. I don't think I've seen Mason. Um... You're the guy, and I do not know where Cadigan Bates is. He's the... poet. 
that I do not remember where he's at. Behind the church, if I recall. Which I think is the other way. I have no idea where these where those other two were. I don't think I've ever seen them. I just heard of them. Wait, what? I got him stupid and I hit the wrong button! It's literally the same button twice! I keep doing this. Motherfucker. Actually almost murdered me. Mm. How do you get higher mesmerized? Is it just from killing people or... than my physical health but i appreciate your concern sir you're welcome glad i could help have you did you know the mute florist is a member of wow. the secret society no i didn't but i thank you for this information sir for it only enriches the mystery surrounding the precious camellia are you not curious? Is there not more you wish to know? That girl has not an ounce of malice in her. Whatever she may be hiding, it's certain to be for the benefit of most, if not all. I fear you are a hopeless romantic, Mr. Nethercote. Guilty as charged, Dr. Reed. I'll leave you alone, sir. Alright. Anyway. So I've done that. I've cured everyone that I can because where is this guy? Because I don't know where this guy is. Oh, he's the blind guy. Right, okay. But where is he? I don't think I've met him, have I? Was he like a, a random guy that I saved and he'll show up if I sleep? If he makes everybody sick, I'm going to be pissed. No, I don't want to go down the street. Okay. He comes here and makes everybody sick. I'm killing him. I mean, I'm killing him anyway, but I'm going to enjoy it. No. Why would he come here if he's racist? It's nothing 
but migrants here. I've cured everyone that I can. And thus, I must sleep. And I must level. Alright. Um... I want... Oh, <laughs> hard biting. Ooh, I heal if I bite? Yes. All right, I'll leave that alone for now. I'll level this up. Um, I definitely want to upgrade my claw. Okay. We have learned how to use your claw strength and now strike with a stunning effect. You... No, I'd rather have a stun. Alright, we'll just leave that there. Then I want to upgrade this thing. Once. Okay, because I can't upgrade it further. Maybe I should just get one and everything else. For as much as I can, anyway. Range. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I want to do rage. Damn it, I don't have the points. I went from level 8 to level 17. Fight against the rise of crime. Yet more proof of the violence and danger that lurks in London. A young nurse, Miss Dorothy Crane, was found dead yesterday morning behind the walls of what seemed to be an illegal dispensary where the local sick sometimes went uh, to get medical support from unidentified activists. There was no doubt about the cause of Miss Crane's passing. The poor woman had died from blood loss following what the police described as a massive wound to her throat. That macabre scene was but the epitome of the current situation in Whitechapel. Its inhabitants are criminals, bandits, or madmen disguised as citizens of London. Interestingly, no hospital admitted to have employed the victim. The dispensary has immediately been closed by the decision of the London City Council's Board of Health. As always, the soft and liberal minds already object that this closure of the only local medical facility can only increase the mortality rate and put the local cells at further risk. One cannot help but dread the time when these people brutally will seep through the walls to the city itself. It is our role as civilized people to protect our families, our brethren, and of course ourselves. SLA. Oops. Okay, she has bronchitis. He has cold. He has migraine. God damn it, he did get sick, and now he has fatigue. Great. Just had to go and get sick, didn't you? 
Okay, I need one for bronchitis too. Gotta go cure. Ow. Uh, gotta go cure the priest idiot who went and got sick. Like a dummy. Yeah, you, you idiot. Good evening, Mr. Whittaker. It's Father Whittaker, my son. So. Yes. It's the. I have heard enough. Oh, shit, sorry. Good evening. Oh, God. Don't you faith give me all I need, my son. If I must fall, then so be it. No doubt your faith will prevail, but let me give you some extra protection against the devil's work. Medicine. Blessed be your generosity, my son. I have heard enough for... There, all right. Mm, yeah, I'll just hear everyone. I don't mind running back and forth. Besides, the hideouts are easy or like dispersed enough. <laughs> Gotta find where the new people have shacked up that showed up today. Oh, well. Who are you people here? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, you. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Do you remember me? If you're here for a reward, you'll be sorely disappointed. But I'll gladly shake the hand of a fellow countryman. I'm not here for a bounty. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed from the Pembroke. A doctor? In Whitechapel? What an opportunity. My name's Bates. Cadogan Bates. Do you require assistance, Mr. Bates? Not me, but your skills could help a lot of people around here. That would help my business, because I say, a live tenant's a paying tenant. <laughs> Since I took an oath to help people, can I be of assistance? Well, seen better days, that's for sure. But it was bound to happen with all these refugees about. Infecting you is probably the last thing on these people's minds. Take this in any case. What? You give me this for free? Don't have a clue about this place, do you? Nope. Have you heard anything about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Not really. <laughs> Why am I not convinced? Why am I not convinced? Maybe it's because you lack faith. Being a skeptic must be useful for a man of science. Okay. What help could I possibly be to your business? That's simple. I already get good money from all those fleeing the war. Can you imagine what they'd be willing to pay if I could offer medical assistance to... Mr. Bates. Do not make me regret saving your life in this quarantine zone. I understand, Dr. Reed, you're from a good family. Don't want to get your hands dirty. That's fine. I'll be happy to act as your middleman. I've no interest in money. Perhaps one night I will visit you and take what I require. If that should happen, there will be no need for a middleman. So it's a no, then. That's too bad. The reed tonic could have really helped people, you know, save lives. Isn't that mm -hmm, what you mm -hmm. do? I mean, 
people buy that swamberer's shit. It's unusual to see someone so happy around here, especially considering the current situation. Ha! Why should I be sad now? There've always been wars, disease, tragedy. There always will be. That's an unusual way of seeing things in these trying times. I don't see why I should shed a tear for another man's woes. I'm healthy, and I intend to stay so. What is your business, exactly? I offer fair lodgings for a modest price to the poor and weary of Whitechapel. I see. And what about those who cannot pay? Well, deals can be done, if you know what I mean. Money's not the only currency. After all, I'm not immune to a pretty face. Oh, I'm gonna fucking murder him. Kodogan is making money by renting squalid flats to the Whitechapel migrants. You obviously place yourself above the misery of Whitechapel, but you are as repellent an individual as I have ever met. Begging your pardon, I thought you was a man who could appreciate the complexity of the modern world. Things ain't just black and white, you know. Tell me, what's your honest opinion of the increasing violence in London? People are just beginning to discover what we've always known. This city's rotten to the core. They just took their bloody time to wake up and notice it. What do you mean? People are acting like the violence is news. But it's always been savage down here. It just bubbles to the surface every now and again. You seem to have recovered well since your attack. Do you ever think about what happened to you? Not much. It was a fucking nightmare. Savages. Absolute bloody savages. Their appearance. Jesus. You want to puke. You'd better not come back here. I won't be around next time to save you. Have you heard anything? Not really. A man such as yourself, knee deep in the muck of Whitechapel, must know more. Speak now. Heard it closed after the owners died. Refugees don't want to come to Whitechapel no more. Scared, I hear. You sound disappointed. As long as she was there at the dispensary, it attracted more immigrants and kept my place full. Such a shame. Ah, oh, he's such a dick. Anakin sees Dorothy Green's dispensary as a fine thing since she keeps his tenants in good health. Goodbye, Mr. Bates. <laughs> Who's coughing? Shut up. Where is what's her name? Where'd you spawn? I hate that this place is so spread out. I can't remember shit. Don't remember where anybody is. Yes. It's fine because you're here. Hmm. I wish we could put, like, you know people on the map so I knew where they were. This whole place looks fucking the same to me. Uh, 
Oh, she's a, oh, is she in the cemetery or the like graveyard where what's his name is? The the guy. Um, the poet. I can't remember his last name. It's weird. <laughs> the cemetery? Oh. Ow! Stop it! I can't believe this. Oh my god, that heals so much blood now. Gotcha. All right, then I will go for the quests. Your home will not protect you, for there is no protection against malevolence and trickery. Upgraded weapons. I have the upgraded. Uh. What? I have the uh, upgraded. Uh... Uh, that steak. Ah, oh, shut up. Okay. Right. Yes. I'm cheap and I'm Excuse me. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. I just mean that I have been looking to upgrade my weapons. I just have not been able to because I haven't found what I need. Go this way? No. I go this way. Yeah. Go this way, and then I turn left. Go this way, I believe. Yeah. I don't think I've run into anybody that sells weapons. Only shot, like, guns. Fuck. Ow. Oh, wow, that doesn't do shit. Ow! If you do not fucking stop. Yep.
Yeah, I have the strength to eat her, so... Might as well get over it, mate. Samuel! Carnage. Is Father Whitaker's disciple among the bodies, I wonder? This man's far too old to be Samuel. No. By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. Samuel isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. Yeah. Someone did a lot of moiting around here. And I wasn't invited. I'm offended. As I feared, Samuel no longer preaches the good word. I picked up the rat! Of blood. Twelfth October. Father Whitaker is so righteous, so full of compassion and love for the suffering ones. What happened to his hams? What? His words are all this city needs. Tonight I give him all I have, my strength, my faith, my wealth, and if that is not enough, I know where to find more. He's a vampire. What do you mean? <laughs> Uh, Father Whitaker and I went to an abandoned house near St. Mary's Church. It was an awful and smelly place. Rats were disputing the rooms to the last remaining residents of the decrepit flats. Most of them are sick. Awful, awful odors. On the last floor, Father Whitaker found an old man lying on a dirty mattress, coughing and spitting blood in a wooden bowl. Father Whitaker knelt before him and prayed a long time. The man seemed to feel better. Then we both helped him find the light. I cried then, and I cry now as I write these lines. For I have never seen a soul so relieved to be finally redeemed. Father Whitaker is a saint. If it's not presumptuous nor a sinful expression of pride, I wish I'll be able to save as many souls as he does. For it's a real privilege to witness such miracles. Tonight, we both went to the whorehouses bordering the canal. I must admit, I was very afraid to cross the path of Jezebel's, but the buildings were abandoned for a long time. Whores and infections go together, explained Father Whitaker. But their customers quickly got, get scared when there is a mention of disease. In the last brothel, we found two sick women sleeping together in a sinful attitude under dirty blankets. The odor was awful once more. The smell of Satan and of the disease, explained Father Whitaker, before kneeling and praying for these two lost souls. The women were so frail and sick they were not able to move when I threw the, pet the petrol on the blankets. Their souls are now cleansed and purified. I see. Hey, bravo, bravo. Father Whitaker is a saint. I won't let anyone mock the holy man he is. He shall receive more help and support, but as all the true prophets, he is alone. He needs more from his followers. He needs love and proof of love. Tomorrow I shall go back to the cemetery and unearth more wealth for him. The dead have no need of the terrestrial goods, and we need to eat, Father Whitaker and I. Tonight, for the first time, it was my turn to lead the round. I chose to return where we went ten days ago to see if any more souls needed to be freed. Father Whitaker approved my choice since the good man's work is never finished. And Satan never sleeps, he explained. He also said if I keep showing so much zeal, he will soon give me more important missions and tasks. I can't wait. Three more souls have been cleansed from any corruption tonight. If it's not presumptuous nor a simple expression of pride, I dare say 
We are uh, we are one a path to greatness. We are on a path to greatness. Okay. All right. It's Tobias has already killed several sick people during his crusade to cleanse the city. I... This is despicable. I was trying to loot. I thought it was loot, not a rat. Can you shut the hell up. Oh, you little bitch. I hate you. Stop. I have this thirst for blood. And a continuous need to accidentally hit the wrong button. Yeah, I do that a lot. This game explain itself. Didn't I run into this issue before where I came here and it was like not a way I could go through? Okay, so I have to go. I have to get. Stop it. I have to get here. Oh, 
Oh, there you are. Hello, lady. Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is the I know way that. to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. Xiao Shun couldn't find the strength to leave her husband's tomb. How do you well, first, feel? let's get you... Speaking, I, mean. I don't feel good, Dr. Reed. Not at all. Don't worry, I got it. You should recover quickly after taking this. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? From what I have heard, she was a... Tell me how your husband died, Xiao Shun. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days, but for me, it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming, to have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come? Or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends. But I need to be here alone. One day, maybe, I'll go back to them. But not now. I need silence. And I need sadness. You should not be by yourself. Grief can be a terrible trial. And it's even worse when you're alone. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me. Even if I don't quite understand why. You realize you can't stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. Uh. But you're not dead. There is a difference between visiting the dead and staying with them. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say I too have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please accept my condolences for your loss then, Dr. Reed. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why yeah, because you bit this? her. Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. But I wanted you to know that you have done nothing wrong. Unlike me. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. 
Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Xiaoshun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. Matthew. The world has gone to... We find something about her. Always Since looking I can't for reveal myself to my mother now. I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. Hey Kit. Sorry. I was thinking, and you know I can't think and do anything else at the same time. I can barely do it when I'm just doing that. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place. <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, madam. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. Oh, I thought I didn't know who that was going to be. Oh, Mary. What have I done? If I could only change one thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. Oh, good luck. I'm so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. I wish the tears would come, but I'm empty. And I feel a hypocrite. Let your pain run free, Jonathan. Don't smother it. What you feel is your humanity. Don't be so quick to lose it. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Hey, Harry. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered. And... and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How is it possible? Tell me. <laughs> I appreciate is it. It's so easy to take a life every night and then just smile and nod at those you spared. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies. Feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs All right. our senses. Have a good so one. I'm about to head off soon as well. To warn me. As soon as this cutscene is over. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. 
I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. I'm not a religious man. You should know that. This is not about you forgiving yourself. This is for her. This is you telling Mary how sorry you are. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was in the tomb. What a weird... I just want to go read a braille. Can't do that, can't do that, can't do that, because I don't have mesmerized, so it won't let me in. Like a jerk? Okay. I cannot enter. I think you mean you can't exit. Oh my god, ugh. Hit the wrong buttons for that. All of the time. All of the time. Oh my god, eh. Hello. I say fear for a gentleman. Isn't it? You quit stabbing me or shooting me? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin. Forget your old, weaker self. What do you want from me? Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. He big. These immortals try my patience with plans and unsolicited counsel. Same? What the heck is going on over here? These hunters are actually confident when they're not fighting me. Yep. I've gotten stronger. All right. I imagine it'll save me after this, so. Less wrong button? No, I just am strong. 
I leveled up. Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. I've no need for a kind ear, only a moment of peace in God's house. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel. For I can be as silent as stone. I've made myself perfectly clear, this is a private matter. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. The illusion of choice. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? Who she was is not your concern. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? She has been laid to rest. That's all. I'm going to be know. such a jerk to this guy. I'm telling him nothing. And how are you feeling, my son? Don't ask about me. Where's my fuck off god priest guy option? I, I could forget all this. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. How can this poor soul hear you when you can't even hear yourself and admit your role in this tragedy? Excuse you? I'm so sorry, Mary. I promise to find who is responsible Eat him. for all this. I'll put an end to this horror. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Well, that was pointless. He is so handsome, it's annoying. I mean, obviously he was more handsome before he, you know, I'm corrupting him with horrible vampire powers and I'm gonna make him ugly, but he is built like a tree that I want to climb. Anyway, it's two o'clock. Oh, I forgot to say happy September, everyone. This is the first of September. You know what happens this month? Fall. We're only 21 days now from fall debut. I'm so excited. I'm sure you guys are excited too. Okay, where are we? Where are we ending? Hi, 55, zero, zero. Ending soon. All right. Thank you everyone so much for spending your time with me. I appreciate you all. And let's try to find my music. All right. Thank you, thank you everyone for spending your time with me. Thank you, thank you. I didn't say thank yous yesterday and I'm so sorry. So Thank you to Plasma for resubbing for seven months in a row. 
a tier one. Thank you to Maddie Boy uh, for the follow. Thank you to Clark for the follow and for subbing with Prime. Thank you to Plaintiff Popper for the 100 bits. And thank you to That Panda J for subscribing yesterday. Thank you to Mad Max for following offline. Thank you to Token for contributing $100 towards the 2.0 model and rig. Thank you, thank you. And thank you to Saifar Fad for uh following today thank you thank you so much i appreciate you all you've been so incredibly kind and yeah um bye anorexia um don't forget we have discord movie night the discord movie night yes yes um Hold on. Um. <laughs> yeah, Styles, you're such a good boy for recommending this game. Um, we will be playing. The new schedule will come out tomorrow. Oh, well, it'll come out tonight. The new schedule will start tomorrow. Um, we have Minecraft on Monday. One of these days, maybe Thursday, I'm gonna play WoW for Pedro's drops. Um, since Thursday seems to be a day that Pedro can be around. Um, and lots of vampire this week. Um, as I don't have anything in particular planned other than vampire. Um, and maybe we'll do like a day of commission work, maybe. Uh, we'll work on some commissions for some people, some writing for some people. Uh, some... Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, some audio editing for some people. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Some people. Yes. Um, so, yeah, tomorrow we will be playing some Cobblemon modded Minecraft on the community server as requested by Token Shadow. We'll be playing WoW, we'll be playing Vampire, we'll, and then maybe on Saturday we'll, we'll do some commission work and we'll just have a work day. Or maybe, maybe we'll do it on Friday, we'll have a work day. So, we'll have some things to do. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry, so sorry. I'm getting distracted by the universe. But yes, in an hour at 3 p.m. EST, which is 55 minutes, 50, 55 minutes from now exactly, we will be doing Discord Community Night and we will be uh, watching Aliens, the sequel to Alien, uh, because Gull is in a... Uh, RPG, uh, uh, an alien RPG, and she needs to watch the movies. Um, so or it's an excuse so that we, we can do that. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so if you'd like to join us, um, you just join the Discord channel when it opens. I mean, it's open now, but you know what I mean? When when we're there, we'll stream the movie. Everybody will be muted and we'll just hang out. And I hope that you all have a good rest of your day. If I don't see you, I stream every single day, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. EST on twitch.tv slash Celine Whitetail. Follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, join the community, Discord, all the places you know when and where I go live. Thank you so much, everyone, for your support. And I appreciate all of you. And I hope to see you for movie night. And if I don't, then I hope to see you again soon. Have a good Labor Day if you're in the U.S. and you are have a day off. Uh, if you're not, haha, <laughs> sucks to be you. Have fun on your Monday. <laughs> we'll be playing some chill Minecraft, so hope to see you there. Bye! Mwah! 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 Mwah!